The following podcast has been rated Listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. In the walkway, a poop. (laughs) 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 The womb nuke. Uh, I see a picture of you me naked. <laughs> I'll tell you a picture of me naked, you'll love it. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty Gurman, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the best DEI hire, and he is bouncing up and down like he wants to on you. Please welcome back Mr. J.P. My God. Oh, I'm just happy to be here, I, man. I, I Fuck, am I'm sure. I am so happy to be here. Funny thing is that bar stool is upside down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no shit. Good uh, call. Yeah. It's not yet, but that's a good idea. Yeah. But also, he is the only two-time funniest person in Wichita, Kansas. Please welcome back Mr. Derek the Wreck Alders. Yep, put, yeah. some, put some respect on it. Yeah, that's right. Actually, yeah. you know what? <laughs> yeah. You know what? Do it again. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's right. <laughs> For now. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, that contest comes up here in a few weeks, or, and then uh, there'll probably be another two-time winner. Okay. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, but anyways. Uh, there are well, more people that are doing it again? Uh, yeah. I saw quite a few. I th- I'm pretty sure, yeah. That's crazy to yeah. me. Uh, but anyways, welcome into another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. This is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, they're all targeted towards me, and that's fine. Uh, this is also an adult podcast where you like to use foul language and uh, offend people who have thin skin. But if you're one of those people, I don't want you to get the fuck out of here. I want you to fucking try to report every fucking thing that you can and have us go mega viral because that seems to be what happens when you step on somebody's toes. Mm. So do that instead. Yeah, you yeah. dumb fucks. That's right. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Scotty says the N word daily. Oh, okay. Not that. Absolutely. <laughs> Always before we go on air and right after we go off air. I don't know what, <laughs> what the, the deal fuck? is, but yeah. yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, but ladies and gentlemen, we have an excellent episode this week. We've got hot topics, overrated or underrated. What do we got? Huh? What do we got? What did I say? You said hot topics. Oh yeah. Topics. That's better. My voice is almost yeah, back. That's pretty good. It's that was good. I like uh, it. Yeah. They got overrated or underrated is back. You've been hitting those vocal cords, have you? <laughs> yes, sir. Stretching right. them out. Stretching them out. Uh, then we have Pretty that. soon he'll sound like Mariah Carey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'll sound like that chick on that wicked Target commercial. Uh, um, uh, we have That's Where I Draw the Line, Questions and Preguntas, a draft. And as always, we like to wrap the show up with a shitty situation. Uh, but before we do that, we like to tell all of you guys what happened to us over the last week, because we know you all really give a shit. So uh, we're going to kick this off with Mr. J. P. That is his fairy best. I had a good week. He did? Yeah, man. You had I, a lot uh, to talk about? Not a ton. Okay, but that's good. I uh, Let's see. I bowled. Yeah. I smoked pot. No kidding. I uh, played some video games. Look at that. And I got to watch Derek's dog over the weekend. Yeah. That was awesome. How's she doing? She's awesome, yeah. man. She's so good, but she's getting older. And so the last time that I watched her, she doesn't like to go out and go potty. Mm-hmm. And But if I was stern with her, like, come on, Wrigley, let's go. And she'll go out. Mm-hmm. But now she won't. But you can't just walk up and pick her, pick up, her up because she's like, like then I can't, I can't do it right. I know I'm not hurting her but I can't take it so, so you just left her I in Derek's room no. so I sit on the her. no so I sit on the couch and I call her over and like the first couple times she jumped right up on the couch and came up on my lap and then I would just scoop her up and take her out right well, then she fucking got wise to me and she was like <laughs> wait a fucking minute man I don't know so she'd she'd like act like she was running up on the couch and then she'd stop and just sit back and look at me like are you gonna fucking take me outside because i'm not coming up there if you are 
And so I just, you know, she'd go to get up there and I'd pet her for a minute. I'd scoop her up and take her out. <laughs> it was, it was funny. Yeah. It was funny, but what yeah. You, what you got to do is you got to shit in the yard with her. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I wish you would have told me that. Yeah. You got a bond. I shit. I just shit on the basement floor. Yeah. Cause that's where she shit while I was sleeping. <laughs> uh, <so. laughs> JP be shitting on the floor and blame it on the dog. Yeah. No, it was. That dog yeah. does not eat corn. Yeah. Yeah. yeah she does now. But yeah. Um, that was fun i enjoyed that i love wrigley so that was cool other than that man Other, all of us want you to watch our dogs and all of our dogs love you unconditionally yeah, it's man. fucking great jp gave me shit like what the last time i was on he's like i'm yeah, the designated dude. fucking dog watcher yeah, and i'm some like all right had somebody else watch the dog i was pissed yeah but well, everybody else wants to watch her too so i get it yeah but the, I, I don't want you to have to watch my dogs all of the time because if I look at the weather and it's going to storm, I just don't want you to go through that situation. Yeah, man, that was different. Yeah, that was definitely. But I, it was more of just like, oh, you feel terrible. I feel, for I feel horrible because there's yeah. nothing I can do. Right. And when he went up there and locked himself or shut himself in the cabinet, dude, <laughs> I lost it, man. I first I was laughing my ass off because I was the funniest thing I've ever seen a dog do. But yeah. then I was like, man. That is pretty. That's how scared he is that yeah. he's going to shut himself in a fucking yeah. cabinet. Uh, oh, hey, did you uh, did you actually try the uh, macaroni and cheese ramen like Jeremy <laughs> told you to? <laughs> no, because what a waste. <laughs> That's wasting a whole cheese packet, bro. That's true, yeah. Yeah, no. Damn. And I can't imagine that being good. No, it, I think that would be nasty. No, yeah, Kraft, I can't imagine that being good. Kraft macaroni and cheese is fucking fire, but yeah. with uh, ramen noodles, I don't know. Nah, I don't think I so don't either. I don't think so, no. Yeah. Uh, but anything else that uh, that you did? Did you buy another fucking bowling ball? No, sir. Good job. Did you receive the one? I did the get one, one though. <laughs> That's what I was ask. <laughs> no, so I don't have it yet. But uh, one of the one of the guys that runs one of the pro shops, they do storm. Yeah, does. Uh, like deal where you can try out the ball before you buy it. Oh, that's cool. So now they've got interchangeable thumb slugs that they can put and fit your thumb. Mm -hmm. So they just put one of those in it fingertip whatever and uh, you can bowl with that ball before wow. you buy it so you can see what it does or you can use it in league or whatever it's anyway when they get done with those balls i was like so what do you get what do you do when you get done with those because there's like 10 of this phase ai that i really want and he was like well he goes nothing really he goes probably just give them away i was like i want one of those phase ais and a 15 pound <laughs> and he was like all right man i'll save you one just message me and that way uh i don't forget right and that was not yeah that was monday, <laughs> monday night yeah last monday night gotcha and i think i've texted him every day since then no shit and he said it'd be like a month before they'd be done oh, you know because they use them for several times but uh yeah i've texted him every day so he doesn't forget yeah i'm gonna be like hey i'm thinking about buying a phase ai and then i'm just gonna beat the shit out of all of them <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'd like to throw this one now yeah. there's 12 of them yeah. i want to throw them all yeah. to make sure that they yeah. you know the last 11 you threw down the street <laughs> yeah well, Oops. I promise I won't do that this time. I'm, yeah. I'm a big driveway bowler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have uh, you ever taken a bowling ball and dropped it out of a moving vehicle? They've got a video of, of that oh, on yeah. YouTube. It's cool shit. Yeah. Yeah. They I did a pumpkin. Uh, and they did the world's fastest strike. Jason <laughs> Belmonte got into a NASCAR and they were doing like I can't even <laughs> I can't even tell you how fast they were going, but he threw it out of the window while they were driving and it just fucking obliterated I'm the sure pins, dude. Duh. It was funny. I'd have still left the ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you would have. <laughs> Fucking standing tin. <laughs> ah, Nine shit. piles of sawdust and a solid tin. <laughs> yeah. Uh well, you're you're kind of the crescendo this week because you had a good fun trip and stuff like that. So I guess I'll go. Oh, oh shit. Uh oh. Setting me up. Okay, good. Setting me up. I am. Uh first things first, I uh I do want to give a shout out to a lot of our listeners because after they've find they they have found out that I like to go bourbon hunting now and I'm getting into bourbon, I got like six or seven messages from people that are like, dude, I get I have Eagle Rare everywhere I go, every liquor store, and it's like forty bucks. Do you want me to send you any? I'm like Shit, I appreciate that, but no, you don't have to do that. I really do appreciate, it, but mainly oh, he like, does want you to do it, no. and he wants you to pay for it, and then <laughs> no. send him free Eagle Rare. I no. guarantee no. he does. I, I like how he's going bourbon hunting. 
Yeah, oh, yeah, I spelled yeah. it wrong. Beerbin. Yeah. Beerbin. Beerbin. Uh, Beerbin, man. But anyways. Um, I had a good Beerbin once. <laughs> the, the, the main reason why I don't want them to send it to me is because we no longer have the P.O. box. And so oh, I have yeah, to be handing be. out my address. Yeah, and it would have to go to 1-1-1. <laughs> well, yeah, thank one. you. Appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I'm kidding. Uh, no, I appreciate the gesture, but, but the cool thing is a lot of these people, our listeners are also bourbon fans. And so they're sending me things that I should try. And so <laughs> I like that. That's really cool. I appreciate all of that. Red breast is the best dude. Uh, I'll try that. I have not tried uh, that oh, yet. Fuck. Dude. Yeah. Uh, I've got a lot of people suggesting certain things, but Eagle Rare right now is my shit. And in Kansas, you just rarely can find it except for over the weekend. Uh, I decided to go into Global Liquor. I, I like to go into liquor stores I haven't been to. Goble. Uh, Goble. Is it Goble? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, Goble Liquor. You've uh, never you get, been in there before? I've been in there, oh, but, okay. but not hunting for bourbon. Yeah, right. at Global, you actually get <clears throat> bourbon, but at Goble, at you get bourbon. You. <laughs> at Global, you have to pay dodgeball, play dodgeball. Oh, do you? Global ah, Gym. Global Gym, yeah, yeah I got it. Uh, anyways. I'm very good. Yeah, so I went in there. I was I was hunting. I ended up getting like a bottle of uh, Peerless, which, let me tell you, for the price, it's awful. Um, but, uh, I got that and I was getting ready to go and get cashed out and sure as shit, I'm behind two people and then I can see it. It is a box of Eagle rare and I can't tell if it's been opened or not, but I'm just like, like I get up to the counter. Finally, I'm just like, Hey, do you have any more of those? And the guy's like, well, we do, but we've already sold all of the bottles that we can. And I'm like, uh, excuse me, what does that mean? You're a liquor store. Why are you not selling that? I can see them now. There's two of them in there. And I'm like, I, that makes no sense. He goes, well, see, we are actually just started our own app on the app store that you can go <clears throat> and download. And if you buy it off of the app, then we can sell it to you. I'm like, so can I just do that right now? And he's like, yeah. And if it says we have an available quantity that we could sell you, then I'll, I can just do it that way. I'm like, perfect. Spend the 10 minute. Oh no. Yeah. Spend the 10 minutes to make my own login information for this fucking liquor store. Put in my email, which now they have begun to start spamming me fucking email. Of course. Anyways. I like to think they sold all the bottles before (laughs) you. (laughs) Yeah, right. (laughs) Here I come. Like, I need 26 bottles of Eagle. (laughs) No shit. I'm starting a Molotov cocktail (laughs) chain. (laughs) But I get all of that done. I go to search it on the app, and guess what? It's out of stock. It says it's out of stock. I'm like, motherfucker. So they they even are like, okay, that's fucked up. Let me call the owner. So they call the owner, and they're on the, oh, no. Why can't they sell it? I will tell you. But anyways, they call the owner. It takes them 15 minutes on the conversation with the owner and then the owner's son to finally come up with, here's the deal. We can't sell it. We only allotted to sell four bottles, and they were bought first thing in the morning on the app. These two bottles is one for a drawing for, like, Black Friday, and the other one is a presentation bottle so we can show that we have it. And I'm like... But, but you, you don't. don't have it. <laughs> like, fuck you, you assholes. Uh, and then I just gave up. I bought my fucking bourbon, and then I ended up trying to leave, and the guy won't let us leave. He's telling us all this great deals that you're going to get on all of this other shit. And I'm like, I tell you what, I wanted that bottle. You didn't sell it to me. No. And so I was pretty fucking pissed. A liquor store that, and guess what? It's not like it's expensive. I, I just even wanted to torture myself by going, hey, if you could sell that bottle to me, how much would it be? He goes, out the door with tax, $50.46. I go, fuck you. You know I have to order that shit out, like, direct to my door, and it's $98 a fucking, $89 a bottle, plus shipping. Fuck you. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I was a little, I was a little irritated. You, there's got to be somewhere in this town you can get that shit. It, it, you can, but they're going to mark it up. That's the deal. Because it's just not out. It's just not allocated here. Like we get very, we get very few Buffalo Trace and Eagle Rare, and I those are by the Buffalo same Trace. same distiller. Not anymore. You know who fucked that up? Joe Rogan. <laughs> Joe Rogan mentioned it on his podcast. Now you you can't. It's not there for very long. Uh, but it, don't worry about it because I got some of that too, and it's also not that great. Uh, but anyways, thank you for all of the listeners though giving me uh, giving me suggestions. I really do like that. But right now, Eagle Rare is definitely my favorite, and so until I find something that's that's better, then I'll get, I'll just start getting that. So, but until that time, this is what I'm at. Um, the other thing was uh, I got a I got a question um, and a comment uh, from Mason Workman that I, I think I need to address because I think I need to apologize for it. Uh, but Mason Workman wants to know, he, first of all, he starts his no. question off as, 
Question for Scottage Cheese, and he says, <laughs> <laughs> he said, is it possible to not suck in that fucking vape in the mic? My God, man. <laughs> yes. He's I, my favorite listener. Yeah, dude, we've been telling you that for weeks. I'm sorry. That's my fault. I don't even recognize. I don't even notice it anymore. So that's on me. That's you my notice fault. this though, don't you? I do. I notice the clicking of the fucking pen. So yes, I will try. <laughs> I used to. I, I I used to or I tried to like go away and then take a hit down there. But I, I apparently I have not been doing that. I will thank you for the mention. I will definitely try. Great job, Mason. Yeah. Uh, but guys, other than now, that, now ask for a new host, Mason. <laughs> yeah, hey, that went so hey, that well. W- that worked really good. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, but other than that, guys, I'll be honest with you. I did not have uh, a very like a big week. Uh, my work is decorating for Halloween, which everybody knows is my least favorite holiday. So it's yeah, it is what it is. But this is the Halloween episode, so yay! Oh, we I get didn't to realize that. If I'd have known yeah. that, I'd have come and drag. I feel, oh, God, that would have been great. That would have been, been funny. Uh, but anyways, that uh, that is my week. Again, thank you to all you guys. I appreciate uh, all of the suggestions and the uh, offers to send me fucking booze. But nice. uh, Derek went on vacation, sort of, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I did all sorts of stuff. You I, did? Have I, talked to, have I been on since no. I've been back from Chicago? No. Oh, I went to Chicago. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh Went to a Buffy the Vampire Slayer bar, which I didn't know anything about. Uh, I did a Malort shot. What the fuck is that? Oh, uh, yeah. It, uh, it tastes like mop water. Yeah. Um, I, I, <laughs> really expensive mop water. Oh, yeah. my God. Uh, really expensive. It's like a Chicago thing, and I've always heard of it, and I'd never done it. And my buddy Bo was making a joke. He's like, they got Malort here. And I was like, fuck it. I'll, I've never tried it. I'll do a shot if you want to do a shot. And he's like, all right. So he bought us two shots of Malort. And yeah, that was gross. What that? What that run a, a shot? I have no idea. I didn't buy it, dude. I, I think it's really expensive. I don't know. No. My wife got a bottle of it for, oh. uh, for okay. That's something uh, else. I'm white elephant gift it. exchange. Or okay. Something. Okay. Well, so it can't yeah. have been that. It must not be that, be that bad. bad. But yeah, it was uh, not good. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. it's just a kind of tasted a ride like of passage. Malort. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it tasted like homeless sweat. <laughs> like it was fucking terrible. So, yeah. <laughs> and uh, you'll never get that taste out of your mouth. No, it tastes like a bum's nutsack. Um, mm. So we, they had like a crossbow station set up. Yeah. And they were because it was like they had the lockers and like the library and then a graveyard upstairs. Wow. Like, all, I never. I just seen the Buffy movie. I never watched the series, and I haven't seen the Buffy movie since I was like twelve. Got so, um, <laughs> like, that's yeah. weird because I found the DVD by the DVD <laughs> player downstairs. That was Muffy. It was a uh, porno. Oh my bad. Good thing I didn't yeah. put pop that yeah. in there. Yeah, that, that was a porno made in nineteen ninety six. Muffy. <laughs> And it wasn't a DVD; it was a VHS. Oh um, my god! Uh, <laughs> could you get the case open? It's been stuck shut. It's for, been. Uh, I thought it was just me. Yeah. No. Uh, Natural so, glue. Yeah, it's like the uh. sword and the bone. Uh, <laughs> so we we. Uh, they had a crossbow station set up with like crossbow darts. Yeah. And so they're all taking shots at this vampire thing and trying to get the dart to stick. And I was like, I'll show you how we do it in the hood. And I took the crossbow and turned it sideways and shot it. <laughs> did Suck. it stick? It did not. Oh, Damn it, no. that would have been cool. No, been I, I missed uh I missed high. <laughs> uh, so but uh, I'd had a shot of Malort. <laughs> right. Well, I mean yeah. God. Basically the moral of the story is don't crossbow and Malort. <laughs> no, not at the same time. No. Um, you're like those guys that go to the gun range that are just, you just know that they're dangerous yeah. with a fire. I love doing it. I've done that before. <laughs> I know. I believe it. Um, so <laughs> I, uh, we also went to a Chicago Blackhawks game. Cool. Which was fucking amazing. I bet you had a good time. Yeah. yeah. Fuck Chicago Blackhawks. They just beat my ass. Well, we lost with the game I went to, so yeah. that'll make it feel better. Yeah. Um, we lost uh, four to two. But it that's was that's what they beat us four to two. It was fucking incredible. Well, five. Getting to fucking sing along when they scored the goals. I've never that's cool. I've never thought I would say this in my life because I could give a fuck about it. But the dude that sang the national anthem mm-hmm. was amazing. That's crazy to hear from you. I know. Usually like 
I, I could give two shits. Which about one? It. Hang on. Which one? Yeah, the, the American the or the Canadian? the Canadian? They were playing Buffalo. There wasn't a Canadian. Oh, okay. okay. Um, wow. But it was like a, I think it was a police officer, retired police officer, but it was like operatic. Mm-hmm. But like he was fucking doing like. Oh, fucking so pointing, me, oh, He was pointing to America. the fucking uh, flag. Like just, it was insane. Yeah. And the place was going crazy the entire He's time. He's getting he choked it. up talking about it. Who the fuck are you? Yeah, and no where kidding. is Derek? Derek at? No, it was amazing. <laughs> the, the whole place was going crazy. That's cool. Like, I looked at Katie and I was like, holy fucking shit. That was incredible. I guess that guy does it there all the time from what my yeah. buddy was telling me. He said it's kind of a big deal. Um, hmm. But it was it was really fucking cool. That's uh, cool. Beers were fucking like $18. Yeah, that's so crazy. So dude, I, had I can't beer. believe people even buy them. Yeah. That's nuts, yeah. dude. That's great. I wish I had the money to buy eighteen dollar beer. Right. I spent twelve dollars at Arby's the other day, and I fucking regretted it for two days. <laughs> Scotty's like, "That's a cheap bottle of bourbon." Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, I got some. I know some good cheap ones. But it was, uh, it was, it was super fun. And then I guess the day after, or two days after, because uh, it was at the United Center. Obviously, is where the Blackhawks play. Uh, two days later, uh, somebody got shot and robbed. Oh shit! <laughs> outside the United right Center. outside the United Center. Nice. So, we, so you I, came home with some money. <laughs> <laughs> and I got blood all over my favorite shirt. <laughs> oh damn it! You can buy a new one. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But yeah, so we did that. Uh, I got to eat like an asshole. Uh, I tried it. They had a thing I found on. Nope. <laughs> Can't say those kind of things well. <laughs> Not eat an asshole, eat like nope. an asshole. Uh, Ch- Chicago Pizza and Grinder Company. Oh yeah, oh, did it, did you grinder, go to your your Grinder? Yeah, no My kidding. God, man, what are you trying to happen. do to me, bro? Yeah, yeah, that was, right. By the way, I had the most obnoxious group of like fucking fifty year olds that were sitting like a table away. Yeah, that would piss me off. That were talking at the top of their lungs and would not shut the fuck up. That would drive me and then they were like, "Let's do another dirty cheer. Here's the honor." Oh god. And I'm like, okay, I remember doing that one whenever I was fucking twenty one. <laughs> yeah. No shit you're 50 bitch like, <laughs> so i was uh, like so then i'm back in the corner i'm like all right let's do a cheer here's to jizz <laughs> jizz <laughs> like that's what i was doing i was fucking annoyed we were all over it except for my buddy who was over all of us bitching about it oh, uh but the pizza pot pie was incredible and they had like a mediterranean bread yeah which is just this thin soft piece of fucking dough that is fucking humongous and yeah. they just they just set it there with all these seasonings on it and you just rip pieces off and fucking eat it it was holy bulls did you go and stock up on giordano's too i did not i did go to giordano's once you did i did go okay. eat there once. all right all right that is like, but i did not stock up that's Derek's number one yeah, that's my favorite mm-hmm. uh we also went to that firefly burger which they actually take a <laughs> syringe and inject the burger with cheese oh god uh, yeah it, it was, was they give you gloves to eat it was it good it was pretty good okay all right. yeah i probably wouldn't go back Like, it's not something I would make a special trip to go back to. Okay, that's kind of my deal. Like, whenever they make a presentation that's way cooler than how shitty the food is, it's like, yeah, "Eh, it's fun time once or twice, but I'm good. I would totally go back to that fucking Chicago Pizza and Grinder Company. You showed me some fucking pictures and video of that shit. That That was epic. It looked bomb. And the thing, though, is that you're a big, obviously, you're a big Chicago-style pizza dude. Mm Mm-hmm. I am not so much. Uh, yeah. I'm more of a New York style. So. I like New York style a lot too. Okay, all right. So pizza, but. really in general. <laughs> Derek's, Derek's okay with it. Not, not, pretty much all that's weird. Not Domino's, <laughs> but not Domino's. Not fucking Domino's. <laughs> What did they do to you? Uh, I had to eat that shit every weekend in high school. Because oh. it was cheap. Cheap as fuck. Yeah, it was. They would sell Especially these. Especially back then, dude. Mm-hmm. They would sell these cards, like, for your baseball oh, yeah. team. And it yeah. would be like, well, oh, yeah. buy one large, get one free. And they'd never mark it off. And so every weekend, my mom worked at night. And she's like, order pizza. Yeah. And so we'd have two large pizzas and eat on that for three days. Like, yeah, it makes fucking sense. ugh. Yeah. So, okay. Boy, how times have changed. Yeah. Now he eats on it for like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, you had fun in Chicago. Then what'd you do? Uh, came back, was back for three days, and went to Manhattan, Kansas. What'd you do there? I went to the Sunflower Showdown. That's for all you KU fans out there. Yeah, I hope, fuck you. I hope you enjoyed that, and it yeah. was close. But it I, was. It, just, it was too close. It was great because it, it gave was a them, good game. Get just just enough hope. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just to, to, dash just to it fucking again. smash Dude, it. Yeah. That's why I say about the Chiefs. Everybody's like six and zero, seven and zero, eight and zero, nine and zero. They're yeah. gonna be. I'm like, I hope the the first game they lose 
is the first game of the, the playoffs. playoffs. Same. Oh my god. Same. I'm the same. Oh way. my god. Sorry, but anyways, you had a good anyway. time at the at the game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I had a great time at the game. Uh, we were on the end zone, like 17 rows up. That's awesome. Um, I almost then, I almost called you. I almost texted you and given you uh, Fred's number. He was there. Oh, was he? Yeah. He and he and uh, his wife were up in the box, and they you go. Could have gone up there, I guess. But well, then we went. Whoops. moved We Whoops. moved like the, we moved a section over, so we were right by where in the first quarter where the KU dude dropped the ball for the mm-hmm. touchdown. Yeah, we were right there, uh, and then we were right on the plane in the second half, mm-hmm. uh, and it we were like nine rows up. It was fucking great. Yeah, I had a fucking blast. That's good. So uh, that's I would I would totally go back again. And the other thing is, is that you're not a K State fan at all. Not really. Yeah. I root for them. I think out of the Big Twelve, I'll root for K State. Okay. I like Jerome Tang a mm-hmm. lot. Okay. And uh, I like Avery Johnson, obviously. Yeah, he's from Me Wichita. Me too. And, and that God. Dylan Edwards oh. kid was fucking amazing too. Uh, he's seventeen. JP. Who? Avery Johnson. He's no, seventeen. He is not. Yeah, he is. What if he was? He's not. <laughs> if he was, I would wait a year. <laughs> Or eight months or whatever it was. <laughs> okay, fine. yeah, man. Uh, but no, yeah. he's from he's from Wichita, Kansas. So we kind of root for him. Uh, yeah, we yeah. do. Yeah, I used to actually. I worked with his mom for a little while. Oh yeah, so, you told me that. So yeah, and I like her a lot. She's cool, and his dad's super cool. So yeah, uh, hard not to root for the kid. Mm-hmm. You know, so uh, I I I root for K State. I guess I'm an Illinois fan first and foremost, which we got fucking shellacked by Oregon. Uh, but kind of uh, knew that was going to happen though. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be that bad. Oh, okay. Uh, but uh yeah so i root for k-state the big 12 but that is what we did so well we're happy to have you back yeah i'm glad you had a good time um you've got uh so before we move on first off there was a question specifically for jp that i wanted to be addressed because i think that'll help a lot of our listeners uh kind of come out of the closet uh but (laughs) mace yeah because i'm sure they're uh (laughs) There's a lot of them struggling right now. I I hear you. Uh, But Mason Newsom had a question specifically for for JP, and he wants to know how long (laughs) can you hold Scotty's vape in your ass? (laughs) It's just start farting flavored farts before he realizes you do that before every show. (laughs) No, he wants to know uh, what is a true sign that somebody is actually gay, even though they won't admit it. The easiest way to tell? Yeah. Is they got cum right, <laughs> well, right in the corners of their yeah. mouth? They don't wipe good enough. All right, how about something not sexually related? Oh, well, when they when you look at them and they're not looking at you, your eyes they're looking at your crotch. <laughs> Again, not sexually related. <laughs> but I mean, it's it, that doesn't necessarily have to be sexually related. I mean, you could just tell. Uh, yeah, I yeah, I think a pretty big giveaway is tight jeans. Oh, you think? I think so. I, I don't know about that. I'm not that, saying every single one, but I'm saying no. when's the last time you saw a gay guy wearing baggy jeans? Oh, now? Yeah. All the time. That's oh, like really? Totally back in. They get jinkos? The, like that's yes. What? Not they haven't gone to that extreme yet. No, I'm not talking but about they're getting there. I'm not talking about the lesbians. I'm talking about the no, dudes. No, dude, me too, bro. <laughs> me too. <laughs> lesbians that wouldn't surprise me a bit. No, Nothing that they were surprised. I can't yeah. <laughs> no, they're still in flannel and Birkenstocks. They haven't moved on from there yet. Damn right. Uh, uh no, but yeah. Not the videos I watch. <laughs> they make fun of my Those jeans. Those aren't real lesbians. Dude, the the uh, kids eating that, pussy Scott. <laughs> yeah, they are. Uh, it's a, it's the kids a, at work make fun of my jeans all the time now because they're fucking. They say they're too tight. Yeah. So yeah, I, I don't know if you can tell by somebody's jeans being too tight if they're gay or not. I, I don't know. Well, I'm, just, I'm just like thinking like a stereotype that there that there's like okay, there's a ninety percent chance that this dude. If they do this gay. a lot. <laughs> well, then yeah, yeah, they're probably gay. Man, uh, I, whatever I was like, or if they do a lot of this. <laughs> yeah that's it that's it there you go you just, like you 90? just fucking piss that kid off. yeah well, sorry about that uh fucking mason workman he's like god damn my vape tastes like jp's ass <laughs> he had to try it just to make sure but yep sure uh, enough yeah. whatever i was working at applebee's when i was in my like 20s uh my stepdad my stepdad's kind of a redneckish let's oh yeah say. oh um, yeah Likes to hunt, likes NASCAR, uh, camouflage, long hair color. Yeah. So he, uh, we were out one day and I was working at Applebee's and he came to, we, we had, we were having dinner and there was a host that we had and he had cerebral palsy. Oh no. And so he would walk around and I think too, there was, 
there was a little bit of mental. Oh, sure. Um, so he would walk around and he would have the the cocked wrist like that. Oh yeah. God! And my stepdad, oh, no. my stepdad's like, you know, it's one way to fucking be that way, but you don't have to fucking advertise it. I said, <laughs> what? I said what? Retarded? Retarded? <laughs> <laughs> fucking no, no, no. That's Palsy. a no. That's a soft R. That's a uh, soft R. We told it. We told it. It's yeah, like right. what? Retarded? Oh, he's like, oh god damn it. What do you mean? He ain't gay? I said, fuck. I don't know, but I know he's got cerebral palsy. God damn. He's like, fucking... Jesus. Uh, wow. And, wow. That's crazy. That's great. All right. Well, before we get on to the the fun parts oh, of I the got show, oh, one more thing too. Oh, it's what you kinda, got? It's shitty. Uh oh. But you know, we love you guys that listen to the show, and at least when I'm friends with somebody on Facebook and I see something that goes on, I like to uh, pass along our condolences to Tyler Freeman and his family. They had to put their dog down today, and uh, it seemed like the dog they'd had a dog for a long time. I know how shitty that is too. To have to put down a pet's one of the worst things. So I've gone to funerals for yeah, family dude. members. I mean, and it's harder for to for the for dog. Pet, yeah, yeah, man. So, so condolences to you and yeah. yours, and and yeah. uh, we're sorry to hear it. Yep. Uh, but to move but on. But if you got a cat that you've put yeah. down, nobody, we don't, no, give, we a don't give a fuck, fuck about fuck. your cat. Yeah. Don't give a fuck Throw about it off cat. a fucking cliff. <laughs> we don't it, care. I'll we'll put see it if down. it lands on its feet. <laughs> I'll put it down for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. <laughs> Derek is the Dr. Kevorkian <laughs> of cats. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. that's, actually, that's the only time he shoots his gun. Yeah. I got a cat last weekend. <laughs> I had to swerve to get him, but I got but him. I got him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyways, Wichita's Funniest Person contest is coming up. The qualifying rounds are going on right now. Uh, the finals are November 20th. That'll be hosted by Mr. Derek the Rec Alders. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, if, if you are in the Wichita area around this weekend, uh, do us a favor, go in and check that out. Uh, those, uh, those comedians. I uh, would really appreciate it. Uh, also, the cheapest way to support this show is to drop a like and leave a comment. If you have a question or something like that throughout this episode, don't hesitate to do that. That helps uh, get um, more people to listen to the show. And we like growing. Holy fuck on Instagram. Like we had a couple videos that are doing really well. So, yeah, I would like to blow up more on Instagram because fucking TikTok hates us right now. So, and people keep stealing our shit, and it is what it is. But, anyways. Yeah, but if you like to watch people play video games they, and listen to us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They, video right games, ahead. the same video of yeah, the same video right, game. Yeah. yeah. And it's us. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, let them know that they're stealing our shit. Uh, but, anyways, uh, now we get to move on to hot topics, which is hot topics. My That's favorite close. was when I got accused of lip syncing my own shit. That was the funniest <laughs> shit was... ever. They legitimately said Derek was lip syncing the sound of us doing the show. Yep. Man, you're good. I'm That's fucking talented. You are. Have you ever thought about ventriloquism? <laughs> no, but I thought about going on that show Lip Sync Lip Sync Battle. battle? Yeah. yeah. That'd be good. That's awesome. Uh, but yeah, so hot <laughs> topics. We've got, uh, unfortunately, the World Series to Look talk about. Look at that about. stupid fat son of a bitch. That can't possibly <laughs> be that guy. That's what they're like. That's fucked up. It was the cheese and blowjobs. Right. One, yeah, too. of course it was. One of the yeah. oldest ones. The yeah. one that was stolen the most. Dude, that's and, and funny. It was, it, it, they kept on saying it's like. That's not him. That's not him. And it's like yeah, I had to fucking. Sure him. I had to tag him <laughs> in the episode at the time Dude, that it awesome. happened. It's like, fuck you, right bro. On. Anyways, all, all right. right. We, we lip sync that whole episode. That whole episode. The <laughs> we whole should do thing. That. We should do that one episode. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's do that shit. Uh, but anyway, like the old Chinese film where you just kind of keep mouth out with every <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah. The uh, the worst World Series uh, that we oh, could have got is no what kidding. is going on. I uh, I haven't watched a single game. We're watching it right now. Actually, it's uh, this is the last here. game. <laughs> Probably, yeah, yeah. So we got the Dodgers up three to nothing, and so that means probably uh, let's call it good tonight. I, I think it should be. It I think might it should as well, be because it's going to happen. And I and I came to uh, I came to of like okay, I have to have. I hate both of these teams. So who would I rather win? It's like it's like voting in an election. Um, yeah. You have, <laughs> but you have. Let two. me guess. L. A. is Trump. <laughs> No, no, we're not no. gonna go. We're not gonna go down that road. Mm. Anyways, uh, we have the Dodgers. Germany. I guess that would make uh, the Yankees Kamala. <laughs> we have the Dodgers. Germany is Trump, and the Yankees. Am I? Sp <laughs> did I spit on you? I'm sorry. No, if you're I did. good. Okay. Uh, you got the Dodgers and the you Yankees. You never told me. Sorry. Here's the. I'm sorry, but too. I asked you to do it. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. So there's a difference. Fine. Yeah. Uh, I. Here's the deal. I really like Freddie Freeman. 
I really like him as a person, and I think that they fucked him in Atlanta. So I'm really pissed about that. And so if there's anybody on the Dodgers that I want to win a it's World Freddie Series, Freeman. it's him. Okay. And then on the Yankees, I like your boy. I like Rizzo. I like Rizzo a lot. So I um I still don't fucking know. I guess I I, uh, I don't want any. Well, of the at teams. this point, you better just take but, fucking L.A. But cause. here's the deal: I don't like John Carlos Stanton. Yeah. At all. Yeah. And so he fucking sandbagged it around yeah. third the other night. And I'm like, you fucking piece of shit. That's what you get getting thrown out at home. So I I, I guess I kind of lean a little bit more to the Dodgers, but I would have been I, rooting. I'm for ready for it to be over. I would have been rooting for Otani had he not done that deal. The bet thing or the no. how, how he's getting paid. How deal. he's getting paid. Okay. Had he, I, I hope that fucker never wins a ring. Yeah, it's gonna. Oh like, well, it's, well, I know it's I gonna got happen. bad news. He's I gonna know. win a lot of them. I know. Probably. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's gonna come with a receipt. Yeah. That's fine. But yeah, he doesn't mind. I fucking hate that. Yeah, and I can't root for the guy anymore. Dude, I get it. Hate it all you want. That is the greatest fucking player to ever play the game. I liked him uh, until this it, year. And, then, and look, I know everybody says he's. You can't really say that yet, but dude, come on. You can't say it yet. And, come on. And I'm dude. not I'm not even going to lie. I, the person who I think is the best baseball player of all time, honestly, in my head, oh, it's God. it's going to piss off a lot of people. It's probably a St. Louis Cardinal. No. Man. It's a white guy. No, it's Barry Bonds. I, I'm you know Barry Bonds isn't white. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> my, oh, okay. You know who my favorite That's baseball weird. player oh, yeah, of I all meant, time? I meant Larry Bonds. Yeah, Larry Bonds. <laughs> my favorite baseball player of all time the, is Tony Gwynn, and then behind him is Ozzy, Joe Jackson, Ozzy Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Shoot Have you seen Joe. the Tony Gwynn hats? No. Uh, I'll show it to you. From baseball, baseball. Oh yeah. yeah, no, I haven't seen them. They yeah. have, they have them. Yeah, I was in the store. Fuck, you could just told me I'd have bought one. Well, I, those hats too. I remember when I was with you in St. Louis. You can have two different hats of the same size, and they'll. Fit oh different. yeah, okay, good point. Uh, but anyways, yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed the World Series. Uh, we did not. Uh, moving on to the NFL. I uh, I got a question. Yes. Are the <laughs> are the Chiefs the new Patriots? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you have three of the letters in cheat is in chiefs. That's yeah, true. Right. That is a good yeah, point, yeah. actually. Um, but yes, they are. They're mm. going to probably have great teams every year, possibly go to the Super Bowl, and everybody else who's a fan of other teams is going to fucking hate them. And they're in a weak division. And they are. In a, right now yeah, they are. Well, they've been I, in a weak division. They have. Uh, but it doesn't matter when they go through the playoffs. They play playoff, playoff teams. And they you wish you were win. in a weak division. <coughs> then you'd be able to get to the playoffs. So it's the best division in fucking football. I hate. Yeah. I mean, I hate to say it, but it is. Yeah, um, yeah. But, I was telling somebody the other no day doubt. how the AFC is just trash. I think the whole AFC is trash. It's not. I don't and, think it's trash. I just think it. There's not a team other than the Chiefs that's hot and right the Chiefs now. Chiefs aren't even that good. I don't think they are either. But no, I say obviously that. the NFC is fucking obviously. way better. Dude, yeah. they should have fucking destroyed the, the Raiders. Raiders. No, yeah. it should not have even been close. I did. That was one game I didn't watch, so I don't know I if, if, a, if they kind of if it. they kind of Andy Reid. The thing that Jeremy Joseph hates about Andy Reid so much is that they just go on cruise control if they have a lead and they yeah. almost end up losing. Yeah. Well, they. F- I, so. I I feel like they just thought, well, there's no way we're going to get beat today. Yeah. But yeah. They they they, they play down to their uh, their opponent. Level, yeah, right. You know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I definitely for sure think the Chiefs are the new fucking Patriots because if you're not a Chiefs fan, everybody fucking hates you. Um, I did want to bring up my team ended up with a uh, with a win that was an expected win over the Tennessee Titans. Expected, yes, <sighs> but. 52 to 14 the margin maybe not well that's crazy no that's not the craziest part 52 to 14 was the final total how many yards do you think jared goff threw as uh, the quarterback i'll give you a hint it's 85 yards oh really 85 i didn't yards. watch the game at 85 all. yards and three touchdowns no kidding not, no bullshit one of the touchdowns that they there was another touchdown that was thrown by uh david montgomery to Sam Laporta, it, this this team is just going to be good, yeah, man. and uh, I'm very excited. So, uh, but I do think they are in the toughest division in uh, the the North. I think the NFC North is the best division. I think every single team in that division can beat each other. I really do think that. And next week we go into Lambeau. As long and, as they don't throw hail marys. <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> oh, we'll get, we're getting to that oh. in a second. Uh, we're going to go to Lambo next week, and I like going to Lambo oh. early in the season when it's not fucking cold. So yeah. I'll take it. Um, I guess this is just the the running through the news. I guess to, as of today, the Colts are benching former top five pick Anthony Richardson and turning to Joe Flacco, which I think is smart. I I agree with that. Do you? 
I don't know. Okay. I fair. haven't watched any of him. Well, at what all. what did the writers want? I think they wanted Anthony Richardson. Who's that? Uh, I think I think they wanted Richardson to be the quarterback. I don't know. I'm just saying the writers probably. Oh, the writers. I thought you said the rioters. No, I'm the like, writers. I don't know. The scripters, you know. Oh, no, I have no idea what they want. Okay. Well, they want Patrick Mahomes to three peat. That's, That's what true. they want. Well, that is true. I, they don't care how he gets there. They, they know that wish. he's not going to have to go through Indianapolis. Right. They got to make it look right. a little more yeah, realistic. That's true. Uh, Deontay Johnson gets traded to the Ravens, Who's which that? Uh, he's wide receiver for uh, the Carolina Panthers. And he has been on that team for a while, and I'm, I kind of am glad that he's going someplace that he may actually touch the fucking football. So there's that. And then, uh, Is that the guy who sucked in Pittsburgh? Uh, I'm not sure. I think he played for I Pittsburgh. I think you're right. You could be right. Uh, I'll look it up later. Uh, but Jameis Winston uh, also was the starting quarterback for the Cleveland Browns over the weekend, which was fucking awesome because that means that his wide receivers were actually getting balls that were within 10 fucking yards of the target. And so There's uh, something he never thought you'd say. No <laughs> shit. He threw the ball 41 times. Now, his completion, rec- or his completion to pass ratio was like 50%, but it's better than fucking Did uh, he throw Deshaun any Watson. interceptions? Uh, I don't know. No. I'm sure it was against Baltimore, uh, and they ended up winning. They beat the Baltimore yeah. Ravens, yeah. and that division I think is the one that's like, <laughs> like shook up. I don't know what to think of it. So there's that. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to bring up because I don't think I did last week. Did we talk about Tua? Tua was coming back for the Miami Dolphins, mm-hmm. and he decided not to wear a Guardians hat over his helmet. Yeah, I think we talked about it. Okay. The good thing his name's only three letters, because that's about all he's going to be <laughs> yeah, able to right. pronounce here in a few more years <laughs> you ain't before he kills himself. I did see one of the San Francisco people wearing one. Yeah, I saw. there's uh, a whole bunch of players that do. I've only, I only saw that. I just. I guess I. it really isn't even that noticeable. It's not, but I think if you put... But why wouldn't you do it? Well, here's the thing. Uh, the thing with, like, uh, let's say Kyler Murray was wearing a Guardian helmet. He would look like the fucking fatheads from, like, so GoldenEye 007. He would also be able to spell his name after his <laughs> career is over. Right, yeah. That's true. So, I mean... That's like the goal. Why it's like, I'm not wearing a face mask. Yeah, right, <laughs> yeah. right. <laughs> face mask are for pussies. Say cheese, asshole. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. So I guess they also, like, designed a helmet that's just as protective as the Guardian helmet. Bullshit. Okay? No. no. I don't buy it for a second if you yeah. fine you know what wear that helmet and put a guardian cap over that helmet right and there you even go. better even better right so i just think it's fucking dumb he if he dude if he has it one more concussion he's his career's over he might not actually come back dude he's like a steve young bro yeah he's he's, oh, he's worse yeah yeah, I, I, I mean, think it's, I never saw Steve Young do that. <laughs> yeah, shit. Well, he looked like that guy that my dad hated at Applebee's. <laughs> 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 that faggot. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer: JP's gay. Uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah, I can say it. Can. Don't you dare! I'm not going to ever again. Uh, and last, but cer- certainly not least, we wanted to talk about this. Uh, the play of the year happened. Uh, there was a hail mary pass from Jaden Daniels to beat. The Chicago Bears over the weekend. You guys discuss this. I'm going to take this off like my name is Tyreek <laughs> Stevenson. <I'm> just- yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. What the fuck? Holy if they, shit. Everything that you could do wrong on that play, they did. Pretty much. I mean, uh, everything you do could you, do wrong. Do you know what Derek's talking about, Tyreek yeah. Stevenson? Okay, yeah. I just wanted to make sure. If none of you guys have, if you guys haven't fucking seen it, it's all over the internet. But before, or when the ball was being snapped, Tyreek Stevenson was like fucking with the crowd. He had yeah. his back towards the, uh, like to the quarterback and was like talking shit and then realized, oh, the play's going on. I better go over and. Well, didn't Got work out. Burn, yeah, no. I forget what the time was. They timed it from when the play started to when he finally was like, oh. Yeah. It was like, it was ungodly. Because I think Jaden Daniels had like 13 seconds. To throw, yeah. So it was, yeah. I think Ridiculous. he was like, it was First like First of all, they didn't seconds. rush him. They didn't rush him at all. Yeah, it's true. They had a spy on him. Like he's going to take off right. for 50 yards. right. What the <laughs> fuck are you spying on the quarterback for the play- from 50 yards out? Yeah. Like everything they could have done wrong, they did the wrong. The play before, they just gave up that 15 yards so he, yeah. so he could throw the Hail Mary. So he could even get there. Yeah. yeah. They gave him that so he yeah. had that opportunity. Yeah. They didn't call a timeout. Nope. Jalen Johnson said uh, that, hey, maybe we should have probably, I don't know, I think maybe we should have got our guys together, figure out who's going to do what. And yeah, maybe. They had, they had three fucking timeouts. Like, yeah. you could have fucking called a timeout. Guess how many they had after the game? Three. <laughs> three. three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> fucking horrible. Yeah, everything yeah. they could have done wrong, they did wrong there. 
That was awful. They and, hand the ball to the sucks. offensive lineman whenever yeah, you're yeah, on the dude. one and you need a yeah. to the second right. string who's fucking still taped up mm-hmm. yeah. with wrist guards on. What the fucker? And then the coach's response it just takes no accountability. Oh, None. And he's I like, no, nah, I wouldn't change anything. And I mean, it's, yeah, it's really we gotta do shitty. That better. Because Get him the fuck out of there. In the division you're in, man, one game yeah. might mean that may, will definitely could make the difference. I yeah. don't know if I've read right either, but from what I'm reading lately is that uh, – the dude from Detroit, uh, Robinson, the offensive coordinator, or yeah, whatever, uh-huh. wanted the Bears job last year oh, and God, held out for it. And held out for it, and then we kept dipshit. Yeah, and uh, yeah. thank you so for keeping here dipshit. Here we go, because you know who's he's off- gone next year. You know whose offense looks fucking amazing right now. The Detroit Lions. Yeah, hopefully he coaches <laughs> us next year. I don't know if I agree with it. Uh, there's like a whole. Pa- obviously, they have the NFL power rankings, and they have the the Lions over the Chiefs. Of course. I, I'm, I I'm not agree. There. I know. Well, you're just saying that. I, dude. I don't. You're full of shit, dude. I, I, watch the watch the two teams play, and you tell me who's better. I want to see them play each other, and then I'll be able to decide. We'll see dude. if the NFL scripts it that way. Yeah, right. Probably. We'll That'd be. It sounds like that. Sounds like it that's, sounds like that's the way going it's going. Yeah. I don't know if because they're scripting pretty heavy for for uh, Jalen Daniels. Daniels too. Uh, they're not going to put him in the Super Bowl. I don't think they're putting him in the Super Bowl, but it's actually kind of nice to see for the first time the Redskins actually look good. And yes, I, I said the, I said the Redskins. Racist. Yeah. Uh, but anyways. Uh, yeah, the Duh! Fucking the fucking <laughs> Shocker. the fucking tribe that it, it that it actually pictures is bitching to the NFL saying, "Hey, we want this back," and they're like, nah. "There's some 50 year old woman that's like all pissed about it." But anyway, uh, let's move on to the fun parts of the show. Okay. Thank God, Thank I didn't God. think we were ever going to get here, uh, but we did. We finally did. Thank goodness. Uh, yeah, overrated or underrated is back. Thank you guys for participating in Munt Day Friday. Uh, there actually were some pretty good ones, I think. But then again, you guys, you, but you, you told didn't me. pick any of them, though. Uh, I, I I did pick them, but at the same times, I did. There were some good ones. There's a lot of comments about how shitty the questions were last week, and it's like, hey, guess who wrote these questions to me? You did, you, did. you dumbasses. So thanks. Anyways, uh, first one is going to come in from Lane Bays. Mm-hmm. He, he wants to know, overrated or underrated, committing a crime. You know his name backwards is Bane Lays. Another <laughs> porno I had. It's Batman themed. Oh, nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good deal. Mm-hmm. Transpose him. Okay. Uh, but uh, committing a crime, is that Give overrated or underrated? Depends on the crime. Okay. Give me that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, d- yeah, it depends on the crime. Uh, it also depends if you get away with it or not. Right, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Okay. Yeah. Right. We're on 100%. the same. Hundred percent. We're on so the same. So I think that could go either way. Would you steal a car if you know you'd get away with it? Underrated. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember those? If I could get, if I know a hundred percent, I'm getting away with it. Fuck yeah. Do you remember those stupid things they used to play before a movie where it's like? You wouldn't steal a car. Yeah, right. <laughs> I was trying like, to keep well, you from doing movie yeah, piracy. Yeah, exactly. I and, those, and, yeah. and you're like, hang on, dude. What kind of car? <laughs> right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But yeah, I mean, like, did they leave the keys in it? Yeah. yeah. Right. Is yeah. it is, running? Is there a police officer anywhere nearby? Is there a baby in the back? <laughs> we just take the baby out. Oh, then yeah. Just put it, it on the side. Set it on the <laughs> curb. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, with the sign, free baby. <laughs> <laughs> Drop it off at a fire station. Yeah, yeah right. Hey, found this. Uh, you go ahead and hold on to this, but uh, also post it on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, yep. Uh, <laughs> sell it for $100 and give it to Jeremy Joseph. One baby. <laughs> One baby. <laughs> We'll grow uh, up big and strong. Yeah, we'll just, do all your chores. I mean, do you $100 have one hundred dollars or best offer? My thing to this is, I don't know. Do you like playing GTA? Yeah, right. Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, yeah. fuck yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. If, if you, you can, could shoot a hooker in real life, you would. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> from, from the roof yeah. of a tall building, right? Uh, how about you, there, Derek? Uh, again, it depends on the crime. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. yeah. Uh, like, like murder, totally mm. underrated. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's a petty theft. Overrated. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. I won't steal a candy bar, but yeah, I'll shoot a hooker. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. And this is how we get demonetized. We're already demonetized. Because they think that we're being serious. We're not. <laughs> no. No. Why don't you push that button when I'm talking? <laughs> That's how we get away with it, Derek. Uh, oh. Uh, anyways. Ha. Yeah. Ha. Uh, next By one. By the way, remind me, yeah. we need to bury that hook after the show. <laughs> yeah, good deal. Just got to watch out for you and Wrigley's shit in the backyard. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yes. Right. Be careful uh, where you're digging, boys. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, next one comes in from Dev Dev. He wants to know overrated or underrated? 
answering the door naked on Halloween to scare away the kids. You can't transpose his name. It's still Dev Dev. True. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's yeah. not as fun. No. Yeah. Um, there's, there's, I'm not even going to answer this on principle. <laughs> Uh, well, let me tell you something. I, I think if you answered your door on Halloween naked to scare away kids, you're going to get arrested. You're going to get a sign in your front fucking yard. However, <laughs> however, if you do it to the Mormons and it's okay on a Sunday after <laughs> Sunday morning, when they keep fucking getting you out of bed, then they stop coming, <laughs> which is awesome. Uh, yeah. You don't do it naked. You just do it in a speedo and say you're Michael Phelps. <laughs> <laughs> I've already found whoever. Or in my case, in. Burt Kreischer. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right. Uh, yeah, you, this Before is. Before Burt Kreischer, not is, now Burt Kreischer. Dude. This, what? This is like a hot topic. I can't believe we didn't touch. What's that? Uh, fucking. And I know, I know it's fucking political, man. Oh, but God damn spare it. me the fucking political bullshit. Oh, you're going to talk. You're going to talk. Tony Hench. Dude, what the fuck was he thinking? Who? Tony? Yeah. He's thinking I just gained about two point five million followers from no, it for a joke that dude, wasn't that bad. It was. Well, it was. It was. It was weak. Dumb. It was. Yeah. It was but weak. You have to he know who he never, is, but well, most of those people dude, don't know who he I, is. I. 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 Surprise. Okay. I already didn't. I wasn't a hundred percent convinced that I liked him or I didn't like him. I really didn't have an opinion either way. Okay. Now I think he's a complete piece of shit. Oh, I love him. I, uh, and of I, course you do, dude. I, well, no. Of course I, you I, do, man. I went to go oh, see... Oh, fucking no. course you... Even after what... Dude. What, that he said a joke? Really, well, it doesn't matter if it's a joke or not. Yeah, look at where you're at, Look man. at the... Okay. I don't, Our whole fucking system has become a fucking joke. I can't believe you're I defending to, it, man. I, I, That's I, crazy. A joke? Uh, absolutely. 100% no, of the time, I will not, defend every single joke. You have the right to say it. If somebody gets offended by it, then guess what? You can be offended. It's not my fault. It you're, it's your fault to be you're offended. On, if you're, it's different when you're on a fucking stage to tell jokes. I am consistent around this argument. Jokes, if they hurt your feelings... That sucks, but that's not on me. <laughs> it's on you. It's your fault. Uh, You're offended. Now but, I but know why the, you didn't put it on But there. But here's the thing. No, but here's the other thing. Yeah. I went and saw Tony Hinchcliffe with Joe Rogan a fucking two years ago, and that was the at first. At a comedy club. Uh, no, it was at Interest or, Bank okay, Arena. at a fucking venue where you're going to see comedy. But what I'm saying, though, is I went there, never hear, heard of the guy, and he did dark humor like that, and ever since, I've loved it. Fine. And Kill Tony is at, one of the best shows on the fucking, on YouTube. And that's something that he does. So that's all yeah, I'm going to say about it. Okay. I don't care about the fucking politics. Mm, okay, yeah. But anyway, uh, let's move on. Uh, let's go to, uh, let's see, Cody William Price. He wants to so Good God. Hell, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Frau his, la his last name is German. <laughs> yeah, dude. And it's fucking Irish, which is ridiculous. <laughs> it's fucking Garmin. Eh? Would, you be, would you be, you'd be a Fraulein. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. What I don't know what that is. <laughs> That's a woman. Oh, got it. <laughs> Front line, Scotty. <laughs> All right. Whatever. Uh, anyway, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I uh, derailed it. Yeah, it's okay. That's don't good. Don't apologize That's for good. a joke. That, sorry, don't man. Apo yeah, you're, sorry for the joke. You're good, man. Uh, anyways. This isn't the platform for things <laughs> like that. <laughs> I don't know. It's all right. Know your audience. <laughs> yeah. Cody William Price. He wants to know overrated or underrated pocket pussies. Oh. JP? Totally overrated. Well, what if it's pocket buttholes? Totally underrated. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I don't uh, know. Pocket pussies, pocket buttholes. I don't know about any of that, but I'll tell you what I do know about. Uh-oh. And that's pocket Jesus. <laughs> I still have him, you man. You still have him. I still have him. He goes everywhere with me now, uh, man. Uh, but yeah. Actually, um, my, po my pocket pussy would have to fit in like that fifth pocket. Because <laughs> like, <laughs> my yeah. dick's that tiny. <laughs> I'd be like, ah, oh, hang on, I got my watch, a five dollar bill. <laughs> hey, there's, oh, that, there's pussy. that pussy. I've been looking for that thing. That's, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what about what about t-shirt pocket pussy? <laughs> oh, there you go. I've got a, right what, next to my Winston. I've got a I've got a pocket pussy. I yeah? call it a ski mask. <laughs> uh, you can call it a pocket pussy sure, if you want. You can call it whatever you want. Um, so I, I actually got sent something the other day. It wasn't from a, f a listener. It was from a friend and, uh, he sent a picture of something. I, I do not know it's real if it's real or not. Um, but it's actually called the butt baby. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you what it says. And I don't, again, I don't know if this is real, but 
<laughs> it's, it, it's a thing that's now on my phone. be like, look under your seats. Nope. It's uh, it's called a... <laughs> you get a butt baby. It's called a butt baby, 13 inches <laughs> large. It's a prosthetic baby that can be inserted deep into the loving embrace of the rectum where a trans woman can experience and celebrate the miracle of okay, childbirth. Man. Here's the thing. First <laughs> off, the fact that you said what? you don't know if that's real or not. I don't think no, it's, it's, it's not. Thought, but I got sent it and I was but like, But the fact that great. you even thought that maybe... I thought it was funny. Oh, my goodness. I did. Man, we've lost Scotty. We've he's gone. Lost, lost it. He's off the deep he's end. Come on, dude. Uh, but no, uh, I guess pocket pussies. <laughs> are they? <laughs> no. Uh, what, um, what do you think? Uh, uh, I, I say they're, they're underrated. I already said. I think they're underrated. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, I said overrated. Nah, it's, it's quicker, and you don't have to do any of the cuddling. Sure, man. It's fine. Okay. Uh, next one comes You don't have to tell her her dinner was good. <laughs> she <laughs> yeah, looks yeah. good in those jeans. That's right. Uh, next one had more likes of any other question that was suggested uh, th- this week because uh, whatever. Uh, but Zachary Charles oh. Assay, or Asse, is it Assay? Or? Ass- I'm sure I- it's I think Assy. for this question, it's Assy. It's Assy. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Zachary Charles Assy wants it's to S-A, know. Holmes. Okay, yeah. He wants to know overrated or underrated butt sex. Duh. <sighs> Come on, man. How the only can, way JP can have sex. That's yeah, right. That's it's so dumb. definitely underrated. Of course it is. Yeah. Uh, never mind. I was going to ask a question, but no, I don't want to. Go ahead, dude. <laughs> no. I, like, uh, go ahead. If you had to have sex with a woman, would you do it in the butt? Oh, for sure. Okay. I'm just, I just, legitimate. vaginas have teeth. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to get bit. <laughs> well, <laughs> you're, you're correct. I mean, I just got close to one the other day and it started growling. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, even the pocket pussies do Foaming that. Foaming at the know? mouth. It was not good. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so I, so here's the thing. If I say underrated, does that mean that it's for me or for her? I mean. That's, well, for in that case, it would be, for, be for you. you. Oh, if you right. say overrated, oh, it's for her. Then it would be for her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, uh, you're, you're in a lose-lose situation. Yeah. Either uh, way. I went back and watched the live show uh, like, a, like a week and a half ago, and I still can't get over that one gal that I were looking. Gal, that still kills me. Very nice. Broad. Obvious, <laughs> that's better. Obviously, no, a listener not. who brought his this wife. Yotch. <laughs> this <laughs> yotch. This yotch. Uh, a listener actually brought his wife to the live show, and we were asking for overrated and underrated uh, ideas. And I reached and pointed out at her, and I said, "What do you want?" And she goes, "Pegging." And I'm yeah, like, dude. "I can't say overrated or underrated. It's a lose lose situation." So, anyways, I guess I might as well just go overrated. Very good. It hurts, man. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> if you breathe right, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, is that right? I, I, uh, I'll shit. teach you. Yeah. How about you, Derek? I'm gonna go way overrated. Okay. I have seen the streak. My wife leaves my oh cold. Boy, hold it. Oh, oh, boy, howdy. You got to keep Miss Puss clean one way or another. I do yeah. not want to go near that. Oh, my. She was, she, oh, never mind. I can't say that because nope. that was off the show. That yeah, was off the show. To, we cannot uh, discuss that. That was, discuss but that. You, you baited me into it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, man. Uh, Anyways. Just so we're all clear what I was going to say, and yeah, it would yeah. have been funny. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next one, obviously it's Halloween. So now let's get into some Halloween stuff. Uh, overrated or underrated. Oh, I'm sorry. This one comes in from Donnie Thompson jr. He wants to know Old DTJ. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, overrated or underrated slutty Halloween costumes. Way underrated. Are you kidding me? The more skin I can see, the better. And I'm talking on dudes. <laughs> okay. There you okay, go. Just let's all. Yeah. But I'm sure for you, it's the same. For some women, yeah, but for well, others, dude, come on, man. No, of course, but that's everything. But would you rather? I would rather just even. I can look past the nasty ones, but most of them that are dressed slutty are, are pretty good looking. You They're, can look past, but you can still smell them. Well, that's a damn shame. <laughs> Drink more; it won't Sour. matter. Drink more. Drink more. I, I, yes, of course. I'm going to go. It, it's oh, under look at underrated. That. that guy's stealing his glove. He's tr- oh, he stole a ball. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, man. Whoa, Yankee, Yankee check that out. Bart the shit out of that. Oh, dude, ball. check that out. He, gra- he jumps up, catches the ball. The guy grabs his oh glove. Oh, my God. Dude, he's like. 
Guys, no, he's stuck on the wall, bro. I know you guys are probably like, Whoa. yes, Rick, we saw this uh, last night. No, we're watching the World Series live right now. And Holy it, fuck, Somebody dude. just tried to Bartman he Mookie Bartman Betts. the shit out of that. Did they dude, call it was, out? They had to have. Okay. Nobody on base. Okay. Dude, his, his, they were whole, he couldn't even touch the ground. No. He was stuck. Oh, my God. That's nuts. I, that's crazy. I, that is crazy. He was trying to pull Mookie's glove off. Dude, that's fucked that's, up. Crazy. That's wrong. Damn. He's kicked out. Oh, I'm oh, hundred sure. percent. <laughs> they should show him getting kicked out and they should beat the fuck out of him on the way out yeah. to discourage other people from doing stupid shit like oh, that. Yeah, absolutely. Now I really want LA to win. Kind of me too. Fuck New York. Uh, yeah, I I'm gonna go ahead and get back to the show. I terrorists fly planes into their buildings. <laughs> oh no. Oh, come on, Derek. That was unnecessary too, too to late? say that. Is it too late? It's too late for that joke. Oh man. Sorry. Sorry. Normally it's <laughs> everybody it's, knows I don't have that low voice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm safe. I'm just saying, if it was closer uh, to 2011, that joke would have killed. Yeah, right. Good one. <laughs> instead, it bombed. <laughs> instead, <laughs> bubble. Instead, it, instead, it collapsed. Anyways, cool, right. uh, yes, I'm going to say they are underrated. How about you, Derek? I don't even know what the fuck we're talking about. <laughs> Slutty Halloween, Slutty Halloween <laughs> costumes. Oh, they're fantastic. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's what yes. I said, too. Socially yes. acceptable to see friends the, that you will not marry half naked. Yeah. The, yeah, the thong man. is a little uncomfortable. Let your butthole hang out, boys. That's what I'm trying to say. Should I admit Show something I've butthole. never admitted that I think yes. you have pictures yeah. of? Yes. Oh. Your Halloween party. Oh, when you were in leggings? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. That uh, trend was going around that you dress like your spouse, and I did it. Well, I hate dressing up for Halloween. I hate dressing up for Halloween, oh, I by bet the way. you were adorable. Oh, oh I bet you were. Did you want to see it ugly? Did you oh. wear a thong? No. Ah. Well, Absolutely. then you didn't do didn't, it right. I didn't wear anything. Oh, well. <laughs> Stand corrected? I don't hate that. <laughs> no, that's why we didn't invite JP really. to that party. That's right. That's why time, we, we, really. told, we told JP he couldn't come. Yeah, yeah. that's smart. Otherwise, uh, he would have. So, yeah. <laughs> there, there is, as far as, as far as I know, there is one picture floating around of, on the internet. Nice. Or one picture that my wife has. And I said, if you put that on the internet, I will awesome. divorce you. But anyways. I'll talk to her after the show. Did we'll see if we can't throw that up on here. Did no. you see the TikTok I sent you where the guy was talking? It was a stand-up comic, and he was talking about how he got busted printing out pictures of fucking <laughs> porn. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> no, because anytime you guys yeah, sent me that. shit, and I try to load it up on my text message, uh -huh. I, it doesn't allow me. It tries to take me to Safari. i got to fix I'll it. I'll have to show it to oh, you later. Oh, God. Okay. He All talks right. about how yeah, he got busted funny, doing man. that. Yeah. yeah. I know another, I'm like, oh, I know a guy that did that. Yeah, I know another guy that <laughs> yeah, got busted yeah. as well. He hung, he hung him up without tape or something. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Again, natural glue. Uh, and last one comes in from Na Ian. Nature's glue. Nature's glue. There you go. Uh, Ian Smoke PW wants to know, overrated or underrated, having sex with a mask on? I always wear the horse mask. It's <laughs> the really? only way I'll do it. <laughs> oh. Who's got on the mask? Uh, you or the other person? Uh, I don't. I don't care. I've done both. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. During during COVID, try not to catch anything. It actually one of the times <laughs> it was during COVID. They brainwashed. And <laughs> he wanted to pee on me. Oh and no! And I said, you know no. what? You know what? As long as I can't see you. Oh God, no, man. Then, no, I'm kidding. Okay, man. thank God. No, I. I've never he had shit sex on you with instead. anyone in a man. No, oh, okay, no. thank God. Anyway. Thank God. The nah. horse mask is the way to go. Man. Yeah, I think so. If you're going to do it, or the baby one, the big baby head. Yeah. Yeah. That, like, That's yeah, good. That's funny. That would be a good one. Uh, I can just imagine like people in, like back during COVID were actually wearing masks while they were oh, fucking. Oh, those kind I'm of sure, masks? I didn't yeah, even think yeah. about That's those what kind of masks. That's what immediately like, went to my head. Was, okay. Was what the, if, I'm what? thinking Halloween masks I know. right away. I, that's oh, what, yeah. what it's intended. I'm sure a lot of people I know. did fuck with masks. But that, on, see, but like, I don't want to catch COVID. That's, <laughs> fucking, that's hilarious that to me. That is funny. What if you got like a really into character as Michael Myers and just didn't say anything <laughs> and just slowly just fucked? Just yeah. no expression on that mask. Oh, that's great. Uh so, yeah, I'm going to say... That's uh, an $80 over, mask, by the way. I believe it. That's insane. I believe it. I wanted to go as Oscar Myers, um, which is a Michael Myers mask with a hot dog costume. I saw the meme of that. That's it funny. killed me. That's and, funny. Uh, but I was not going to spend 80 bucks on a fucking Halloween mask. Um, 
I'm gonna say that's o- a bottle of bourbon. I'm gonna say overrated. Yeah, what? I think it should have been Oscar who, the Grouch. Who's the with Michael Myers mask? Michael Myers originally. mask? Huh? It's who's the Michael Myers mask? Halloween. Originally? Halloween. No, 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 no. The the mask that Michael Myers in the movie Halloween is an actual yeah. mask that's been painted, and I believe it's of a fucking politician from back then. And it's that's, a hockey mask. Uh, that's, 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 that's Friday. That's Friday the thirteenth. Oh. Michael Myers oh. is Halloween. Um, who, I can't remember who really? it is. Yeah, it okay. is. And it was painted for the, movie, for the movie, and that and that is where it took off. But I can't okay. remember who it fucking is. Derek's looking it up. Interesting. I'm sure everybody's in that's their car. An interesting little tidbit. I'm yeah. not a big horror movie guy. So I'm not either. Obviously, I, I thought Michael know. Myers wore a Every, Halloween mask. Everybody in their car is screaming it at our. At it's the pod. based on the face of William Shatner. William Shatner. That's it. Not Sorry. politician. Not politician. Just well, William politician Shatner. Politician William Shatner. That's right. I just Not knew. yet. Right. But yeah, yeah anyway, it's it coming. Is. Got it. Okay. Uh, that is overrated or underrated. Now let's move on to That's Where I Draw the Line. This is JP's favorite part of every single episode. He's going to be the captain of the Space Force. Yeah, he probably. Um, and so we're going to kick this Lucky off. Lucky bastard. <laughs> we're going to kick this off with Alex Shinover. He wants to know, at what age is it unacceptable to go trick-or-treating? I don't think there's an age. There's, I do. There's, there's a fucking age, bro. I still trick or treat. I'm sure you do. You want me to eat? Uh, yeah, I, that's true. You do it because so, you're so poor. I, when, I, when they <laughs> when they hold out the bowl of candy, I'm like, you got any macaroni and cheese or ramen noodles in there? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I would say like 10. Yeah, I think when you're in double digits, you're yeah. pushing it. And definitely if you're in middle school, stop. Just yeah. stop. You need to be going mm-hmm. to like Halloween parties at that point with your friends. And and I understand it's not there's no booze or anything, but I, I think quit. ten or eleven. Yeah, yeah, I, that's when, fine. That's where I, I, draw I the I'm. Line. I'm with you on that one. How about you, Derek? Under two. Under two. Wow. Yeah, you can't wow. fucking eat the candy anyway. Uh, yeah. Don't drag your fucking child out <laughs> in the fucking cold, dressed like a bee. That's good. Uh, no, but I don't give a fuck. Yeah. And I'm not giving that. That fucker doesn't have teeth. I'm yeah. Not giving. I'm not that's, giving your that's baby. That's true. It should be a. It should be a. Over two and under ten. You know? uh-huh. Yeah, I agree. Oh, yeah. same, I didn't even think of it that way. Same thing yeah. applies to fucking Disney World. That shit yeah, pisses me yeah, off. Too. It's the same rules. If you yeah. are under the age of two, they're not going to ever fucking remember it. Don't waste your time in the candy and all yeah, of that I got shit. You. Now, what's yeah. what's the oldest age? Oh, 36. 36. <laughs> Can't do it no more. <laughs> Damn it. God. I always wanted to do it on days that weren't Halloween. <laughs> right. Like, how fucking fucked up would it be if, like, there's a knock at your door and you actually do answer it, and it's just some guy dressed as a garbage can. Yeah. He's just like, trick or treat. And you're like, what the <laughs> fucking... That's good Fuck, shit. is that today? Damn it. You're like, it's, it's August. Here, here's an <laughs> apple. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Uh, next one comes in from Elaine Bays again. Uh, he wants to know where you draw the line. People buying a large quantity of the same product. What's the product? That's a good point. Uh, if it's toilet Eagle paper. Eagle Rare Whiskey. <laughs> no fucking limit. You can buy as many as you fucking want. Now, Bowling to- balls. <laughs> toilet paper, whenever there's a fucking... <laughs> like One large package <clears throat> per person or yeah, two. Yeah, exactly. Like that. That's I, why there was a shortage, because everybody, everybody thought they needed to buy all of it. Yes, exactly. And, and it, it it's something that is uh, like uh, not something that we have ingrained in our like per, uh, as humans, like our, our Lube. self. Yeah, you probably are at Diddy. Yeah. Yeah. No kidding. That's what I was saying. That's he's probably over the limit. Right. Uh, but yeah, it's something whenever there's like a natural disaster or a or a pandemic or something like that. That is the thing that goes the fastest in the first. It's. Toilet, toilet paper. paper and you gotta have food to shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, what the fuck are y'all thinking? I'd be buy non perishables. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, so yeah. Um, I think yeah. It, I, there's even bourbons out there that it's like one per person, and it's it's kind of dumb. But yeah, I I don't know. How about you, Derek? Two. Two. Okay. I think two. I, I'll just kind of attach on to that too. Yeah. Uh, how about you, JP? Well, I mean. It, really, it depends on what we're talking about. Right. What are we talking about? Like, if, are we talking about bowling balls? No limit. Okay. Marijuana? No limit. Okay. 50-gallon drums of lube? Limit one per person <laughs> per month. <laughs> per, per month. month. <laughs> oh, my God. In fact, you just have dudes jump in it before it's Yeah, it's dude. Just for start, sure. Like, sliding oh, around. Sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We use it like a cold plunge. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's in a bathroom just sliding around the tile floor. Yeah, for sure. Uh, anyway. If they can't get away if they're all lubed up. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> no, they can get away because you can't grab them. Well. They're slippery. A, mm, yeah. Not slippery enough. Okay. That's creepy. Uh, next one comes in from Braxton Lint. He wants to know where you draw the line. Foods that should not be socially acceptable to make in a microwave. Ooh. Hang on. Let me pull up Applebee's menu. <laughs> yeah, everything. Uh, uh, chicken shit. wings. Yeah. yeah, chicken wings. Fettuccine Alfredo. Yeah, yep. that's bad. Steak. Uh, Pasta Express. Steak, chicken. Yeah, right. To cook, to actually cook yeah. it. How fucking disgusting mm. would that be? Oh. oh, that's just awful. No. Anything yeah. breaded. Ice cream. Pizza. <laughs> yeah, pizza too. Yeah. Uh, pe- no, I'm Anything. saying I can microwave pizza. Yeah. But just to get if, it warm. Yeah, but I li- I'd rather. I, I know so you when I might, but I don't. Eat it cold. I will eat it cold, but I'd rather eat it lukewarm. Than cold. Like, I like to warm it up just to where it's not cold anymore, but it's not heated up all the way. That's because you waited tables. I don't like hot food. I'll I'll let it sit. Yeah, man. I'll let it sit. I kind of see where you're saying because it's kind of true. You don't get time to eat if you've done it long enough. Yeah. Then hot food is not that good to me. I don't want to burn my mouth. That's kind of crazy. I'll leave the pizza box I never thought of it. And wait fucking 10 minutes. Dude, I do the same thing. Dude, I never thought of why I do. That's why. That is why. You're 100% right. I waited tables not for very long, but I have to have my my food hot. That's like why. I will, I, yeah, I know. I, I will go and get Buffalo Wild Wings and bring it home. And that is what? 10 minutes? It's, yeah. it's still going in the microwave to yeah. get nice and hot. Right. Yeah. So, okay. Anyways. Well, rich people. Oh, can I change my answer? Yeah. Uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> 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 you just warm them up, man. We're talking 30 <sighs> seconds. Uh, <clears throat> next one comes in. Uh, Ian Smoke PW again. He wants to know, at what point do you buy new shoes? Well, I'm a gay, so I've got a lot of shoes. <laughs> well, I'll, uh, I buy I buy shoes like bowling balls. Oh, these are actually good ones. Uh, see how I, I have I have the treads. tread. Yeah, yeah. But see how this is completely going away first. It's right. because I'm a heel to toe walker yeah. kind of a guy. Yeah. Whenever I am walking out in the shop and accidentally walk across some water and hydroplane and, and fall yeah, over, right. that's, when, that's when it's that's time. That's new time. Yep. Yeah, new shoes time. I mean, uh, how about you, uh, JP? I buy shoes constantly, yeah. whether I need them or not. I, Same as bowling balls. Yeah. I've got probably 60 pair of shoes. Yep, I hear you. Uh, how about you there, Derek? <sighs> Anytime they release a new pair of shoes. Yeah, right, <laughs> yeah. exactly. That's what I'm saying. I know. Yeah. God damn I don't it. even wear 90% of the shoes that There's I own. There's a pair next week that's dropping that I want to get. Yeah. What are uh, they? The Black Toe 14s. <laughs> God damn it. How much are they? $220. <laughs> totally. That's worth it. Who cares? When you make fun of me of buying bourbon, just remember. I can wear the Jordan's. shoes. I can drink mm. the bourbon. And feel like shit the next day. No, I don't I don't drink this enough to get fuckered up. So because okay. I, I sip it. I just I don't Yeah. Uh last one. Uh no, oh uh, yeah, we are all of us answered. Uh last one comes in from something I found that I'm gonna take credit for. Uh but where do you draw the line? At what point does a porno video make you not herny and you t- not horny and herny? Herny. <laughs> herny. Are you I'm herny as furk. I think that I'm herny as furk today, honey. Let's furk. That's the Swedish herny. muppet. Herny dorky dorky dorky. Herny gonna furk here. Furky furky furk. Furk furk. Dude, that's funny. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, I don't know why I did that. But I'm hearing you're gonna fuck you in your ears. Work the work board. Anyway, uh, no. At what at what point does a porn video make you not horny and turn it off? When they start showing vaginas. <laughs> I knew that was gonna be yours. Uh, there's there's quite a few of things that it's like, oh God, I'm not no, I'm not horny anymore. I'm I'm done. And that is when a girl shits in a glass and makes yep. the other girl eat yep. it. Yep, that'll do it too. Also known as two girls, one cup. Mm. A lot of you young kids don't know what that is, but we do. Look it up. Scarred, you would love to see it. Scarred for life because of it. Mm. Um, I uh, There was another, another uh, co-worker. <laughs> if that doesn't make you hate lesbians, <laughs> nothing will. <laughs> yeah, two girls, one cup is terrible. Uh, but there's also three um, girls, one mug. Though. <laughs> I've yeah, never right. seen it. I hey, learned. I learned my lesson. Four dudes in a bucket. <laughs> so that's all I gotta say. Oh, that's disgusting. 
Uh, but no, I guess JP plays the bucket. There's a correct. <laughs> there is a new one that has come out as well, and it is uh, some. There's a girl who has her butthole gaped so bad that they end up putting uh, Fruit Loops in there with milk, and a guy is eating it. Out. No <laughs> yes. way. I'm like, what? Oh. oh no, that's awful. So there's that. But no, if you're if you're talking like at a real, least use Lucky Charms <laughs> like an adult. <laughs> This is Fruit Loop <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh God. Okay, no, my this is my real one. This is no bullshit. My real one. Oh. I will turn it off and I will actually be angry. Uh, when you're watching like an amateur porn video and uh, where at whatever house that they're doing it in, they don't ever change oh, the Jeremy batteries thing. of the smoke detectors. Yeah. Pisses me the fuck off. I'm like Ugh, angry because you're tr you have to beat the next time the thing beeps at you. So you've got like a minute and a half before you, but you anticipate it. So yeah, I hate that. Uh, how about you? Uh, when they pretend they're family. Oh That's, yeah. Oh, step bro. I'm, I'm like, not oh, the no. only one. No. Or step mom. No. <laughs> I'm not the I have only a step -mom. one. Yes. No. I, I'm not the only one. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a step bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. We're different. We're oh. weird. Oh, I can't do that. Uh -uh. What I would not give we, for like, a step bro. I'm like, click. We <laughs> had a question in relation to that with Mike here, and Mike likes it. JP likes it, and uh, I don't. Uh, I don't get it. I, I don't. I don't get it at all. So I'm with you 100%. I've never been like, God, that chick's hot. If only she'd fucking, her mom would marry my dad. Yeah. <laughs> never done that. Yeah, we Joe Dirt this shit. Ugh. Okay. Anyways, that is That's Where I Draw the Line. Thank you guys very much. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Uh, we're going to kick it right off. Let's go with the first one coming in from Braxton Lint. He wants to know, excuse me, weird things people do while sleepwalking. In my case, oh yeah, eat ass and suck dick. <laughs> uh, da -da -da. I swore I was asleep. No, um, my uh, <laughs> so my uncle used to do this sleepwalk, but mm -hmm. he would just go and just piss like different places <laughs> in the house. And uh, my aunt woke up one day and he was he had the closet doors open. The, they had the bifold doors on their closets. Yeah, and he was just pissing all over his shoes, dude. <laughs> Like, and he used to do that, I guess, quite often. He didn't know, mm -hmm. but yeah, that's awesome. I don't do that, but. How about fire a cherry turnover into the microwave like a fastball? <laughs> that would be that would be a thing. That's Jeremy Joseph. That's Jeremy Joseph. Uh, no, actually, a real one. Uh, people, like, legitimately will get up on their fucking roof. Nice. Yeah, like, and that's obviously something similar to what Jeremy takes to help with sleep. To help with sleep. sleep, yeah. And they will legitimately just fucking on the roof i'm surprised they don't die but yeah there's Fantastic. that how about you Derek? i'm i hear people go in the fridge and like start cooking and doing all that shit yeah, yeah. i heard of that like, before too yeah i don't fucking know i don't know any sleepwalkers uh there is one chick on tiktok who's absolutely hilarious because i don't know if it was her idea or her husband's idea put I cameras put cameras yeah, throughout the her. house and that have sound and she is doing all kinds of crazy, crazy shit. Crazy she's shit. She's like dancing. She's farting. She's but is that real? That's what I don't yeah, know. The that's only, what sucks. The only thing that I think it's real is because it's completely pitch black, dark, and the husband's in bed, and you can see him going, Jesus Christ. I mean, I yeah, guess I maybe know, not. Man. Maybe not. I guess you're right. Okay. Uh, next, then, then oh, the yeah. husband gets I hope one of it's those. Real. Then the husband gets one of those babies that he can put in his butt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a butt baby. Yeah. Scotty's like, oh man, I knew it was real. <laughs> what do we call out. that? A butt baby. A butt, I don't know. It's, it's got a. It's got to rhyme with trans. Scotty. Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Scotty. it's me. Yeah, um, that's, no. that's how Scotty was born. <laughs> yeah, so I guess I no, I don't want to bring the I don't want to bring the story. There's a the there's a really stork. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a really bad story of uh, somebody was sleepwalking and legitimately killed her or killed his uh, father in law. Wow! Went all the way to the house and like with that an axe, and great. then came back home and then woke up and he had blood all over. What a good alibi! <laughs> yeah, no I was shit. Asleep. <laughs> I, don't know. Like, I have no idea what I did. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, next one. That's how I'm going to die. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Uh, For real. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be so terrible. Uh, next one. Uh, the next two come in from Mason Lind. He wants to know, uh, to re oh, to replace Tickle Me Elmo, the new kid's toy, Tickle Me Blank. Pickle. <laughs> Tickle Me JP. <laughs> oh. I, think it's, I think it's Tickle Me Pickle, Tick but it's like an, it's a leprechaun. 
<laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah. Pickle right. the leprechaun. Oh, tickle me pickle. I like <laughs> That's it. good. I actually do like that. Um, yeah, I got nothing. Uh, tickle me butthole. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. Inflatable or stuffed? N- stuffed. <laughs> of course it <laughs> is. Absolutely. It is now. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> gross. Uh, all right. Uh, next tickle one, again, again from Mason. He wants to know, if Disney got rid of Mickey Mouse, who would, there be, or who would their new mascot be? The wrong there. Good thing autocorrect didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> me, me writing this whole episode in like 45 minutes. Shut up. Uh, but no, if Disney got rid of Mickey Mouse, who would their new mascot be? I think it would be? be where would their new mascot be? No, it's there. No, the there is the wrong part. Well, regardless, it's a fat chick with bedazzled mouse ears. Yep. <laughs> Lizzo. 100%. Yeah. That's exactly what that is. Oh, God, yeah. It, it would be. They're everywhere. They are. Um, they are. Yeah. I agree with Derek. I'm, <laughs> JP, I really do. You just went. I, I yeah, did. they are everywhere. They were yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I get that. Yeah. I like it whenever they can't ride on the rides. It's it, this actually. At Disney? Damn. Yeah. D- oh, no. Seriously. Dude, so, that's, I, no, I, I fit <clears throat> comfortably in all of those shits, and that was 40 pounds ago. Did you do Tron? Uh, we didn't go, we didn't go to that spot. Okay. So at Disney Tron is out and it's a, it's like you're on a bike. Yeah. Right? Well, it wasn't out when I was there. Okay. Yeah. Well you would obviously fit on it because you did uh, avatar, right? Yeah. Same thing, right? That was universal, but uh, yeah. yeah, but I'm just, no, it wasn't, was it avatar? Or no, that's, that's Disney. That's, Disney, yeah, yeah. that's animal yeah. kingdom. Anyway, yeah. sorry, to, long story short. Um, but yeah, on Tron, they have to like buckle you down with your back. Yeah, they and did so, that on Avatar. Exactly. And so if it cannot buckle down, you have to ride the seat of shame in the very, very back. It's a regular roller coaster. And they keep putting, like they were trying to put a fat chick on there and made her sit in the back. Oh, <laughs> <That's man. laughs> it's fucking hilarious. That's awesome. Uh, and they don't even have like a test one, like hey, while you're in line to, hey, you might want to try this out if you think you might I, be a you, fat piece of shit. Yeah. I had to do that at Universal See? and I barely got on a lot of them yeah. shit. It's, yeah, but it's a, tr- it's a, it's I a figured out thing. the trick, but it, man, yeah, you got to suck you in, <laughs> you do that and you got to slide down and pull the lap bar down as you're sliding oh, and then nice. it goes over your legs and misses your fucking huge ass stomach. There you go. Uh, that's why I did not go to universal in Japan. Cause those guys oh, are you'd already have been small. Yeah, right. <laughs> Dude, I barely <laughs> fit in the baseball shit. Seat. Yeah. I fit just fine. Dude, the, you would have had strict trouble fitting in the baseball seat. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. Uh, next one comes in from Tom McDonald. He wants to know things to give trick or treaters instead of candy. Oh, loose cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah. all right, it's the Avengers. All right, so Iron Man, you get a camel. Thor, you get a Marlboro. Black Panther, here's a new port. Everybody gets a cigarette. There you go. I like it. Uh, condoms. Yeah, I was going to say. Just hand them out. I was going to say AIDS. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a good thing to give kids. To oh, me. oh yeah. Um, Unless they're under two. <laughs> right. And then oh, my God. That's fair game. Oh, man, um, that's terrible. I was going to say condoms. Yeah. Uh, penis shaped gummy candies. There How you about go. That? Hey, I got some. We should hand these out. Ooh, this dude, year. let's do it. You know yeah. what I want to give them I this year? I dare you. I kind of yeah. want to give out Christmas tree cakes. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. That'd be fun. I think it'd be that'd hilarious. Be that'd be fun. You know what? We need to have that uh, one listener print us, uh, 3D print us some more tr- uh, Tyrannosaurus dicks. Yeah, we can oh. hand give out those. those out. That'd yeah, be good. Dude. I like that. And that, what's absolutely funny, maybe that's why we are getting demonetized. You know what we should do, though? <laughs> we could, we should make sure that Derek's not at home that night or something. Oh, and yeah. then we should just go over to his house and sit on the porch and pass him out from there. Absolutely. That way, then they come back. It was that house right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's fucking great. Uh, all right. Next one comes in from Taylor Morosky. She wants to know inappropriate gifts to give as a welcome to the neighborhood gift. Pride flag. Oh, yeah. But you would do that. I would. I know you would. <laughs> <laughs> I have, and I would do it again. Uh, I hate when people that – I hate when I move into a house and, like, for the first week, like, the people across the street. Anything. I hate it. I hate – I don't I want to bother you. Just leave me alone. If we end up – The Bible. <laughs> oh, there you go. I like that the answer. The Bible. Yes. I, that is yeah. that is the worst thing to give to Dang. someone. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Thank That's you. my favorite book. I'll put it with all the others. Yeah. Uh, the, not the Bible. The Church, dude, the church what, of Latter-day dude, Saints. What would Bible. be awesome is if when you moved into the neighborhood, like not only one neighbor brought you a new Bible, but like 
six of the na- like all the neighbors that's what they do they just bring you a bible here's the thing i can Im- i would move out i can imagine legit. all i can imagine all of these 50 year old white women in my head yeah. and they all look alike right <laughs> yeah that would be awesome uh yeah how about you Derek? chuck norris total jim <laughs> <laughs> dude fucking uh Foreman Grill. <laughs> Foreman Grill. Welcome to the neighborhood. Here's this piece of exercise equipment that I've had in my garage for fucking 12 years the thigh that master. I've never used. Yeah. Uh, guess what? My oh, father awesome. actually still has his it's and total uses gym. it nice. every day. Does he nice. use it? Yes. Yeah, fuck Good. yeah. He's like he, basically Chuck he, Norris. He still thinks it's the coolest fucking thing in the world. That's and he's awesome. ripped. Uh, he's not ripped. He, he is. He should be. He's ri- I tell you what, he's ripped for being like 67 years old. I'll yeah. tell you that. So anyway. Uh, <laughs> last but not least, Jeremy Robbins wants to know, if there was a saying, I pulled a Scotty, what would it mean? Getting blackout drunk and making an ass out of myself. <laughs> Yeah, I can't beat that. I you sent that over. That can't is, beat that. That is correct. I admit that. You you sent this show over today, like mm-hmm. fifteen minutes before I left. And yeah. I was talking to Katie, and I was looking at these, and I read those, and <laughs> without missing a beat, that was her answer. <laughs> she, uh, I mean, not, fucking on it. Not my proudest moment. It's not. <laughs> I, I still apologize to, to your <laughs> wife every time I go over to her house, that to your guys' awesome. house, and just like, I'm so sorry for what happened two years ago. <laughs> poor, poor That was awesome. Uh, but no, I think that's a good answer. I think that's the, I think that's the only that's answer. That's the only answer. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, we'll do that. Nobody else even needs the answer. No, but uh, yeah, they don't. <laughs> they don't. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for participating in Monday, Friday. Take, uh, or take, or God, keep your eyes peeled every Friday. I try to post a Monday, Friday where you can comment uh, any suggestion you have for the podcast. And we like yours. Uh, we will uh, give you a shout out every single Friday. Uh, but yeah, JP, you looked like you were going to say something. Or were you just making fun of me because I was fumbling through my fucking no, words? I just thought of one other thing. Like if oh. you clear your backyard with an AR, <laughs> with an AR that could be pulling a Scotty <laughs> yes. for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Uh, I, but at that point, I didn't have my AR. I had, I had a 12-gauge pump shot. Pump Even action better. Shot. Even better. Uh, but yeah, that was fucking funny. That's how he enters the door on Halloween. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct. Get off my lawn! Bag of gummy dicks in one hand. <laughs> fucking AR shotgun. Gun. The other. You can't trust these kids nowadays, no. man. You're either going to eat these candies or eat these bullets. Take your pick. <laughs> Take your pick. I'm sorry. Uh, but anyways, uh, now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Um, Kirby Joseph won last week, but damn it, it was close. Uh, And who came in second? Not me. JP. (laughs) Yeah. Actually, you know what? Um, I think not only did the likes beat me, I don't think I had a fucking vote. Like, not (laughs) one. And I was like, here's the way I found this out was because uh, my wife does every once in a while get to see like it comes on her like for you or whatever. And she will uh, read over them. And uh, she voted for fucking JP, too. So that's what you get. Uh, but anyway, so that means that JP is going to get the championship picks uh, by a technicality. I am going to get the sandwich picks because Derek wasn't here for that draft. So that means that Derek gets the overall first pick. And uh, Derek's going to have to explain this draft because I didn't even know this was a fucking thing. So, Derek, you go ahead. All right. Uh, well, you uh, we've gotten the Columbia House mailer, and you get 15 CDs for a penny. But uh, we're all cheap fucks, so we're splitting that penny three ways. Uh, so we all have to pick five CDs that we're going to get. Okay. From Columbia House. All right. Um, well, that means uh, CDs or albums? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, they are <laughs> yeah, albums. They are. Jesus Christ, Scott. Good right. God. I, uh, whenever I think of an album... <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! Hang um, on a you second. You think of a record. You think, you're think you thinking vinyl? Yeah. You think album? Okay. Yeah, exactly. Don't don't make fun of me, no, damn man. it. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm, I apologize. Get off my I'll ass, man. I'll never do man. it again. 
I'm fucking getting you the Bible on tape. <laughs> <laughs> that might actually work. Uh, no, just get it on a CD. Exercise for me. my yeah. demons. Just, just get it on a CD. Okay. All right. Uh, so that means, Derek, you get your first pick. What do you got? I'm going to have to go with the Slim Shady LP. That's, mm, that's a good one, man. Uh, no, no, that's one. not it. I that's take that a back. Good one. Yeah. You got the. Uh, that was one of the first CDs I ever burned. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, but that was a fucking great album. Um, I'm actually, um, I'm going to go the one, I believe it was, bef- was it before or after? I think it was after. After, Slim Shady LP. Yeah, the only it, one before Slim Shady LP was Infinite, which he sold out of his car. Gotcha. But the Marshall Mathers LP uh-huh. was, was, next. was next. And I think that had a shitload on it. I think it that did. had like Kim on it. And uh, yep. um, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to go with a Marshall Mathers LP. That was what I was afraid that I was going to accidentally take from you was that one. So, uh, All right, uh, then you can go with uh, JP. You get two in a row. I get two in a row. Uh, let's go with The Chronic Damn by okay. Dr. Dre. Fucking shit. Great fucking album. Yes, it is. Great <sighs> album. Okay. And uh, Nevermind by Nirvana. Okay. Ooh, good one. Is uh, that's the one with the baby on it? Yes. Isn't it? Yeah, yes. I saw that Just one. Iconic. I was trying is to get what you. I think is the word you guys are looking for. Yeah. The first two picks I have are iconic. Yeah, I Very know. Good. Very good. I know. Okay. Just throwing that out there for all you voters. <sighs> Never mind. Okay. I I gotta be I gotta be strategic here because I think a lot of the other shit uh, you guys are gonna make fun of me for. It doesn't matter. Every pick I'm gonna we make all, from this yeah, point on, matter, you're gonna make man. fun of me. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna go with probably the CD that I listen to the most. Uh, probably still do and and that is going to be the metallica black album god damn it i almost took it first because i thought oh i thought you'd leave it for me (laughs) i got it right here dude probably one of the top five albums of all time i and i oh god yeah damn it dude they have so many big hits on that on that cd alone i can't believe you took that yeah dude son of i'm glad i did because i was actually thinking about holding off and waiting for that that was my next pick that's my very next pick that's crazy god damn it guess what i'm glad uh i'm glad i i uh (sighs) i took that one okay uh derek you get two in a row uh doggy style okay damn it (laughs) <laughs> we okay this is so funny because it's so funny because right before oh. we were talking about doing this draft we were all like well, nobody's gonna take each other's picks Fuck. we're separated by by time and, and have oh. different styles but no no but there are certain albums that are just yeah oh i know okay well all right. i know I, I i had one in the back of my mind that was just like bullshit funny mm-hmm. so i guess i'm gonna have to fucking <laughs> turn to that one now okay um god, god. all right Derek. son was, of a bitch what's your next one all eyes on me uh Man. i don't know that one that's tupac okay all eyes on me. that had california california on okay yeah. all right and it's e-y-e-z okay I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll get it whenever i'm looking for the album it'll start doing that Okay, so, ah, son of a bitch. I got to remember, I don't want to say the wrong album of these guys, but this one fucking went hard. And I, again, I'm going to get made fun of for this. But, um. Was it Winger? No. <laughs> <laughs> I watched a thing the other day that it was about how fucking Beavis and Butt yeah. ruined their fucking career. Yeah. Okay. It was hilarious. That's funny. And how they fucking like blew up Rob Zombie. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, here's here's where I mean just here's where I nosedive. I am admitting this and I am gonna nosedive and I don't give a shit. Uh, because I really liked them as a band and I don't know why they get so much hate and say they suck, but Nickelback's Silver Side Up is my next. Oh uh, my god. Well, yeah, well he's we out. know yeah, he's gone. I don't care. I, if you were if you're sitting here asking me what did I listen to the most, it was legitimately those three bands I'm that not I've surprised. already made, or those three people. So no, I'm not surprised. Yeah. Uh, all right, JP, you get two in a row. All right, let's go with uh, Blood Sugar Sex Magic. Good one. From the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Good album. And Pink, Can't Take Me Home. All right. Okay. I'm just going to fucking. All right. Okay. Uh, Now. God, I can't believe you guys. Hey, you know what? I I was going to have the fucking perfect list. Uh, And then you fucked me. I don't know. With the doggy style, especially. The last one. The last one I'm going to get in. 
I don't know. You may understand it, but yeah. I, 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 you're not going to fucking take it. Uh, but I'm going to go with uh, In Love and Death, The Used. Okay. Never heard of it. Never heard of The Used? Nope. No. Oh, God. Yeah, this is my emo shit coming okay. out. Oh, it's fucking great. Good for you, man. I kind of want to pick Sevix. <laughs> <laughs> you should. <laughs> Hey, that album did not really ever came out, but there was there was like one really good song on there. It only had one song. Uh, so instead of Sevix, uh, what uh, what are you gonna pick? Ready to die. Okay. Mm. All right. And Dookie. Uh, I don't know Dookie. Green Day. Green Day. Oh yeah. Good okay. album. All right. No, I'm not gonna do that. I was going to. I was going to, but I can't. I was gonna pick. I'm gonna change my funny one to a, a serious one now too. Okay, I, I thought of another one. <sighs> Mine's all rap except for my last one. People are like fucking Dookie. Dookie, Wait, really? Yeah. Hang on a second. Hang, hang, what, what was your first pick? Was it Chronic? What? Chronic. Chronic. Chronic from, yeah. from Chronic Dre. From Dre. Yeah. What about was it Millennia? Millennium. For Dre? No, it's Chronic 2001. Chronic 2001. Crap, okay, yeah. yeah, that's the one I was thinking. Because I just forgot about Dre on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you fucking asshole, because that was what I was thinking. You can but still thought, take that you one. You can still take that one. That's I not the one I took. I took the original oh, Chronic from album, like 1990, which is yeah. way better. Yeah, the other one's not even close. Go ahead and take it. I like that album. It's okay. It's not as good as the first one. It's got Forgot About Dre. Yeah. It's yeah. got it's uh, good. Still Dre. It's better than anything else you've the picked. The next episode. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, I'm gonna take that one. Yeah. And what was that album called? Chronic 2001. Chronic 2001. Okay, got it. That's what I'm gonna go with. Yeah, forgot about Dre. I, we was like our song, like the my. Oh, you weren't here, uh, but my uh, my my black family called me on the show while we were recording. Yeah, they did. They called. Sorry, they Facetimed. Yeah, they Facetimed. Of course, and we were legitimately recording the episode. And so, you were like, you have to do this wall. No, that's what we recording. said. That's what no. Jeremy and I said too. That was a total assholes. setup, man. No. Please. He doesn't even know those people. He paid them. Yeah. I've, I've known. I've known. Yeah, I've like, known. What's them. your Venmo? I've known them since I was seven years old because we played basketball together as kids. And when this fucking song came out, that was, we just listened to it on repeat whenever we were in the car. So that, yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. Uh, Chronic 2001. JP, what is your last overall pick? No, I'm you gotta, torn, you gotta I'm torn go between a couple. Come on, man. Elton John, man. <sighs> that's it. <laughs> that's yeah, it. That's what I was going for. Tiny dancer. You fuck. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to go with 311. Their self titled oh. self titled album, the Blue Album. Yeah, it they, was phenomenal, dude. I saw them in concert. Dude, they're fucking great. Still, live. dude. Still, yeah. dude. They're phenomenal. And live. I'm, I saw them at Red Rocks back yeah. in the day. Oh my, I bet you probably the best concert I've ever seen. Yeah. I mean, hands down, it was so fucking good. Lead singer still fucking ripped. Oh yeah, by the way. Nick Hexum. Oh my god, yeah, dude, he is. it was such a good fucking concert. Yeah, I yes. So, oh, so Nick do Hexum. you want to hear my obscure one that I almost picked, but I didn't want to? I want to tell you about my funny one. Okay, now. what you got? Millie Vanilli. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Blame it on the or brain or whatever fucking. Okay, so I, no bullshit. I had both of these, but I listened to this one on nonstop when I was a kid, and it was the album from the movie Space Jam. <laughs> yeah. I almost picked okay. that shit. And yeah, I was gonna pick Kids Bop. <laughs> Kids Bop, Kids Bop uh, version twelve or whatever. How about Britney Spears' first fucking yeah, album? That would have been a maybe one more time. One. Maybe one more time. I hey. would think Christina Aguilera's would have been better. I liked Britney her better. first album was great. I thought Britney was hotter. Because yeah. she was cute and Christina. Oh, I want to fuck shit out of Britney when yeah. I was younger. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that, there's that. And I, I'm sure that there's there's definitely another. But like, if oh, I I'm pick, sure there's tons well, out there. Well, like, realistically, what's. But nobody listening to the Dark Side show, of the Moon would have been a fucking. I almost picked the pick. Linkin Park one, the, fir, the first one. Sounds like something you'd pick. I know, but I listen to it a lot. Good for you. Enter the Wu Tang. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's good. good. Yeah, there's, there's a ton of them out there. That man. Stankonia was a big one for yeah, me. I fucking one. love that yeah. album. How about the, another movie one, the Men in Black album? The actual movie Men in Black that had fucking Will Smith uh, Men in Black song on it. You want to talk about the uh, <laughs> if you want to talk about movie like albums or whatever, the Forrest Gump soundtrack is oh, phenomenal. It's fucking great, phenomenal. It is, yeah. Uh, and and the Pirates of the Caribbean was also another huge one too. 
Offspring Smash would have been yeah. a good one for me. God, we could do this fucking Yeah, we ever. really could. All right. And that's why Columbia House was so great, because you got 15 <laughs> CDs for, for a, penny, a penny, and then you would sign up your dad, and you would sign up your dog, and you would sign up your fish, and you it, it didn't matter. I like how we... They would just keep sending you free fucking shit. It's got to be probably a couple months ago. We had a question of, have you ever taken advantage of the system? And here That's, we... That's... Yes. And Derek was like, no, nah, I've never done that before. I have too. I know you have. But I then have you were to. like, oh no, one time I bought like a, something and you ended up returning it because you got it or something yeah, like that. Yeah, they fucking wouldn't... They wouldn't give me the cash for it. Oh, and yeah. so I bought another one and said I got it for my birthday and I got two. And then like two weeks later, since it was in the wrapping... Mm -hmm. I was yeah. like, I just need to, I just need to return this. Nice. Like, okay, here's your money. Yeah. Thanks. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, you can go and vote for the list that has your favorite albums, or, or not your favorite, the ones that you like the most, by clicking on the corresponding emoji on Facebook, uh, which is at facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines, or go to X, which is at L-O-T sidelines, and uh, vote there too. Speaking of uh, yeah. using the system, did I tell you the story about my buddy with the space heaters? In Illinois, I can't remember if I told this story or not. I think he did, but it, remind me. Where his fucking heater went out, like in the middle of winter. Yes, you did, but I, I don't know if you told like, it on the show. He bought like fucking six space heaters from Menards, and then took them back, and then like fixed the heater, but he used them for like a day or two, and then took them back, and they were like, "Is anything wrong with these?" He's like, "No, they work great." <laughs> they did the job. Fucking returned them. They were like, great. Oh, they're fucking great. <laughs> and they took them. Yeah. Oh god. That's no, they funny. were great. <laughs> Jesus Box Christ. them back up, yeah. resell them. Yeah. You'll be fine. We'll go and vote at uh, Laughing in the Sidelines <laughs> on Facebook and LOT Sidelines on Twitter. And uh, yeah, we sincerely appreciate it. Whoever wins doesn't get shit. Um, just pride for a week. Uh, but anyway, oh, no. we get we get a week of JP's month. That's I'm right. all about pride. <laughs> I'm all about pride, yeah. baby. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang and. Eagle Rare. Eagle Rare. Yeah. I don't know. Can you even do that? Uh, I'm sure I, I think could. they got to pay you. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm paying them. Does that count? No. No, it's a, not a sponsor. Just saying. I, I've, <laughs> just I've, saying. Got a, I've got a bottle of it right now. and uh, You should see uh, if we could get them to sponsor You should us. chug it. Right I'm surprised. Now. No. Absolutely. I'm surprised not. you don't try to get sponsors more like that, like shit you'd use. Um. Hey, send me it, some free fucking alcohol. Yeah, no shit. Well, it's it's Buffalo Trace is basically okay. who makes this shit. So, so um, get on it, man. Nah, fuck them. They don't want to have their product here. They they don't allocate it. Fuck them. No, I'm just I kidding. Got like six bottles of that shit. It's oh, fucking yeah. delicious. Yeah. Uh, I just it, every time I see one, I buy it. So Scotty can't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even drink, and I've got twelve bottles on my yeah. shelf at home. I don't even drink. I have friends that are traveling to the United States uh, that I like uh, to other states this this coming at the end of the year or whatever. I'm like, I'm telling you, if you go into a liquor store and you see this shit just buy it i'll buy it. i'll pay back so anyway okay uh but no this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation uh is actually one that we had suggested from last week was it last week? no mm -hmm. two weeks ago two weeks ago two weeks ago and we held on to it because somebody really wanted to do it and his name is Derek alders uh but it came from tyler adams and he wanted to know this is a tough one for me this is a bad one altogether i, I don't know it's great i like it because it's just dark i know it is uh, but he wants to know, would you rather be stuck on Epstein's Island or trapped at a Diddy party? First question. For, I got a couple questions, Are you questions an adult too. or a child? No. Oh, right. Fuck. That makes a difference. <laughs> oh, man. But if you're the adult, that's bad. Either way, Either it's way, bad. that's bad. No, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, but I, I don't know. Oh, this is really bad. Yeah. Let's say adult. Okay. okay. You're the adult. Oh, yeah. shit. Very good. I don't want. I don't like this at it. all. You got to. <laughs> I don't like this at all. I have to clarify one thing. Did Bieber ever go to Epstein's Island? I don't know. I, I doubt Bieber did. Well, then Diddy party it is. <laughs> <laughs> I made my decision. <laughs> Diddy party it is. I think a Diddy party for sure. For yeah. Me. For sure. I think so too. For sure. Because I could say, "Hey, I was just at a party," but if you went to Epstein's yeah. Island. There was only really one thing going on there at all. Yeah, it's and true. it was all we don't fucking. No, well, we're pretty sure. Yeah, we're pretty sure. Pretty sure. 
And I know for one thing that the Diddy parties had like Jennifer Lopez and other famous people. Right. That's why I said. Walking they, around naked. Right. But they also are so saying that the baby oil was laced with drugs to knock them out. Even better. Did you hear the fucking phone call from I didn't know him? you could do that. Hey, I didn't know you could do that. That's good to know. I, okay, again, I don't know if this is It could be completely really it's true. Probably it's fake. a butt, baby. But it's, it's a, a butt, Well, baby. here's the only reason why I think it may actually be uh, true. Is I thought the Justin Bieber song was true, but it wasn't. Um, the There's a recording of Diddy talking. I think it's from in the actual prison. Like He's talking to somebody, mm. and he's like, get rid of all of the pizza boxes. Get rid of all mm. of the pizza pizza boxes i feel like and i'm that's like not true come on there's maybe a, a smidge of truth in there maybe no, i don't think so. it's just gotta be something that's slang for something it's, yeah exactly yeah. they always talked it's about probably like, baby oil yeah, maybe <laughs> maybe Too late. uh yeah <laughs> by the way we got a hell of a slip and slide down at the <laughs> yeah, office. yeah right yeah. right yeah man that's all he was using that baby oil was for yeah. it was for the fucking yeah. slip and slide for sure. You're asleep by the time you get to the end of it for sure. <laughs> yeah. we yeah, no shit. <laughs> you never seen old school lube wrestling, man. Yeah, you gotta sure. have a lot of it. I got a lot of it, uh, but no, I'm gonna go to a Diddy party because I think if you were Me still too. an adult, dude, at least you're, you know. <laughs> I guess. I. I it's I don't not, know. I love how we're trying to justify uh, oh, that yeah. being better. Uh, yeah. like, really, it's not. Well, it's like either way, you're fucking fucked. And the but off chance that you maybe got to hang out with Jennifer Lopez naked when she was ab- you know above age when she was over. So 18. you're doing a ditty party for J Lo? Yeah, yeah. Well, not because I like J Lo, but she's fucking hot. Yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm and good. I'm doing it for Bieber, and that's fine. Totally and acceptable. So, Derek, this, yes, are you like, going to the island Scott, or you on. going to the party? Scott, it's totally acceptable for me because. Because basically, when he was doing Diddy parties for you, he was not 18. Scotty. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Ain't no party like a Diddy party because a Diddy party just don't stop. <laughs> Scotty's like, hold my Eagle Rare while I fuck this kid. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> No, that's on Epstein. Uh, Eagle rare. Yeah. Eagle <laughs> rare. Do you like to fuck kids? <laughs> oh, God. Good God. <laughs> then give him some Eagle rare. Oh, I do also want to give a shout out to a listener who I normally make fun of on a, a lot on, on this show. Keith Litsky. That's the one. Oh, <laughs> how do I know? Guess who, else, guess who else is also super into bourbon? That yeah, dude. Keith. And I thought you were going to see Epstein. <laughs> yeah, right. No, he'd invi- he invited me over and he he said I can try some really good shit that he has, so I'm excited. Uh, but no, how about uh, how about you there, Derek? What oh, are you picking, boy. Epstein or P Diddy's house? Who's, who's had less shit come out about who's there? <laughs> That's my first question. Well, well there's a lot of John Epstein, Doe's Epstein, on the Epstein on the Epstein list, list because he got. I gotta go with the Epstein thing because of yeah, that. Because of that, because it's way more secretive. Yeah, and really, we haven't even really scratched the surface with the Diddy parties yet. No, I think the I think still there's alive a lot more too. that's right. I think and, you know yeah. what you've got with the Epstein. Like if you're if you're not named yet, probably good chance you're all right. Yeah. Where Diddy, you you're might still be still on fucked. it. Yeah, you yeah. might be fucked still. Now you may have got to fuck Beyonce. Yeah. All right, I'm going Diddy party. There you yeah. go. Out of baby, we there knew we'd get you. you. Yeah. I it's, think actually, I think you're right. It wasn't it wasn't J Lo. It was Beyonce that was there. J Lo was too. He was okay. married to her. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I guess that's the point. Yeah. Yeah. Beyonce. She was, she was uh, definitely there. Yeah. Cooler celebrities for sure. Yeah, but the, all of the Epstein ones were kids, and that's why I'm like, uh-uh, not all not, of them. I'm pretty Bill sure. Bill Clinton. No, fucking, no, 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 oh, no. But they oh. were fucking kids. Well, so were all the most of them at Diddy's. Not I mean, a all, lot of them. Hey, there you go, but not okay, all. Okay, but not all. <laughs> that's of them. where I'm. I'm at. sure not all of them on Epstein's Island Dude, were either. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they I were. I, 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 I don't look good in all white though. Maybe I got to go back to the because <laughs> <laughs> he did do white the white parties. parties. Just, yeah. Yeah. just get a tan line, man. Just go and start tanning. Be like Scotty, can I borrow your sheet? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Right. There you go. There you so go. Bad. God yeah. damn. You're gonna have to cut new eye holes in it because they're gonna be too low. They're gonna be right where your tits are. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. You have four holes. Uh all right. Does anybody else have anything before we can wrap this <laughs> son of a bitch up so nope. I can go and cry? <laughs> nope. Because I keep being called racist and I'm not. <laughs> You're not. not. No, definitely not. Not during the show. <laughs> oh, fuck, <laughs> man. Uh, yeah, but anyway, anybody got anything? Derek, you got anything coming up? No. All right, sounds good. Well, that really sad. Mm-hmm. Except for yeah, you're hosting. You're hosting. Yeah, the, host the finals yeah. here. Yeah. We talked about that already. A few weeks. Yeah, yeah. November twentieth. Put that on the calendar. Yep. Uh, but yeah, wave. guys. Yeah. 
But hey, man, it was it's a fun episode. I had a fun yeah, time. It was. With I had a good time too. Yeah. Man. Thank you very much, guys, to Mr. JP. Yeah. And also, as well, we love him, Derek the Wreck Artist. Not me though. Fuck me. Fuck, Correct. Fuck me. JP has got some oil that will get that <laughs> yeah. Some peated oil. You'll yeah. love it. I'm um, sure. Uh, but thank you guys so very much. We sincerely do appreciate uh, pre- appreciate you. Thank you to all of the new followers over on Instagram. Keep spreading that shit. That's helping out. And they apparently don't hate us as much on Instagram as they do on TikTok. So thank you very much. They'll get there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Give them some time. They'll, they'll figure it out. Yeah. Uh, but thank you very much for sharing the, those videos. We sincerely do appreciate it. And as we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your <laughs> friends. But if you don't like us. Uh, we hope you get one of those white noise machines to fall asleep to with like relaxing sounds like the ocean, a campfire, or a thunderstorm. But whenever you turn it on, all it is is the sound of Scotty sucking the life out of that fucking douchey <laughs> vape pen. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Good uh, job. If you don't like <laughs> us, tell your enemy. And until next time, be a man. Smoke cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> until next time, keep, keep laughing. We will see y'all later. Take care. <laughs>